It's the Bob and Tom Show. Now, Bob and Tom Motion Pictures presents a new psychological thriller. What happens when two people from very different worlds meet? Will they even understand each other? The Bob and Tom Show's very own Tom Griswold plays himself. Hi, everybody. Opposite <laughs> hip-hop legend P. Diddy Combs. Man, what's happening? It's the mega blockbuster that says, look out, Tom Cruise, because Tom Griswold is Vanilla God. <laughs> Yo. Word. Some guys know. Come on. Some do not. Huh? Especially yeah. Tommy G. What? He's huh? The I'm lost. <laughs> My man. It's P. Diddy and Tom Griswold together for the first time. Howdy and greetings. I just want to say that it's a real honor to work with you, Sean. Yo. Uh, right on G. <laughs> Seriously, Sean, I am a big fan. Sean, you see any the crusty ass white bitch named Connery around here, white boy, because that's the only shine I know. <laughs> I catch the drift of your correction, bro. Uh, actually, I believe Sean Connery's Scottish. Uh, you can tell from his rolling R's and his tendency to break words down by syllables. But be that as it may, I'm, I'm hip to where you're coming from, blood. And I'd be delighted to refer to you by your famous gangsta moniker, Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy? What year do you think this is, fool? What the f***, man? What I'm saying is, the name Puff Daddy doesn't win and stale, man. Man, I got to be fresh, G. Now, you see what I'm saying? Now, I'm banging with P. Diddy, all right? Right on, Mr. Diddy. <laughs> I'm right there with you, homely. <laughs> Vanilla guy. When it's all over, they know each other better than they know themselves. Man, can we bust a rap? Well... Okie dokie, that'd be quite an honor, uh, or uh, right back at you, Mr. Diddy. I party all night and I sleep all day. I have a golden retriever and a 401k. <laughs> <laughs> Don't f with me, I bust a cap in your ass. I pay an ethnic gentleman to cut my grass. <laughs> You're one of the players. <laughs> you want of the honkies. We have one thing in common. We're both hung, hung like donkeys. Donkeys. <laughs> the, the, the donkeys. The, the, the donkeys. He's vanilla. He's My man. Vanilla. <laughs> that vanilla guy, he's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Hello and welcome to the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Uh -uh. Let's get a throat clear out of everybody. Uh -uh. Got that early morning drain is what I call it. Really? Yeah, the early morning. Is that a song? The early morning drain. Oh, no, it's rain. I'm sorry. Is that, a, is that Gordon Lightfoot, maybe? I'm not sure. I... Gordon Lightfoot-ish. I... You know, Gordon Lightfoot has a great song. Oh, many great ones. Sunny, the Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. I never heard of that. Uh, there's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's uh, Pat Godwin over there. Hey, Chick. Uh, Josh Arnold is here. Hello. Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee. Special guests today, all three of them. The Electric Amish. Yay. And uh, comedian Tom Papa. All we'll right. Wow. He, he and his bread-making podcast. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Yeah, of all things, uh, besides being a great comedian, Tom Papa is an expert on ma uh, baking bread. Somewhere Ooh. right now, the uh, the starter for his next loaf is... Uh, Hidden in some closet. Is he yeah. doing sourdough bread? He's, oh, yeah. He does it all. Oh, He's the man. so hard. He does it all. Yeah, we'll look forward to talking with Tom. Come to Papa. I've we'll killed a starter Seeger or two. You. There you go. Okay. Uh, uh, Seeger taught us that. Um, what now? Come to Papa. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, we have uh, a lot of sporting news. NFL lost their mind with signing people yesterday, so we will uh, catch you up. And, uh, of course, of main interest to uh, the Bob and Tom show, our oh. NFL player of the decade, Mr. Gardner Minshew. My favorite player in the NFL. Leaves uh, the Indianapolis Colts and uh, heads to the Las Vegas Raiders. He wised Ace. up. He wised up. Well, he, as they say, got the bag. Yeah, he did. Tom has been walking around in the hallways, uh, not not caring if anyone hears him. He just going, he got that bag. He got the bag. No, I'm, I'm walking down the hallway, and he says, <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. A Minshew signing the Raiders. I just Raider. assumed Ace would greet me with a, because Ace's favorite team is the Raiders. No, when I saw that crawl on TV last night, I go, oh, Tom's going to be on it. Of course I'm going to be honest. It's the most significant thing to happen in the NFL in 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I possibly, say, uh, possibly since the early resignation of Jim Brown. I, I, oh, oh boy. that's true. Yeah, remember that? Uh, that's many years ago. M Modell, right? He Art just, Modell was the owner. Just taken over and told him you would either come back for uh, the spring workouts or don't come back at all. And Jim Brown said. I'm making a movie. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Merely the best player in the history of the game. Yeah. Nice work, Hart. Yeah. There you go. Well, yeah. Um, now that's a shame. But I mean, it's great for great for a gardener. He's going to sure. get getting some high quality money, and um, I just hope the uh, Colts have crutches for Anthony Richardson when he goes out at Game Four uh, again. <laughs> Ooh. That's a little bit too uh, honest, uh, there, buddy. We'll see. Uh, um, okay. Maybe uh, Joe Flacco will become their back. I, you, we all remember how it ended for Mr. Flacco, don't we? He, he blazed three, uh, blazed uh, a, a, a trail of fire and for the Browns for a while. Who was that? Icarus. He flew uh, too close to the sun. Too close. Okay, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. His wings but uh, you have um, uh, it, it's a special evening in the world of the NFL. That's exactly right. <sighs> Happy New Year! Tomorrow is. The new year for the National Football League, making today New Year's Eve. Did you know that, Christy? I yes. have no idea what you're talking yeah, about. This we is say, the, the official NFL year. We oh. say That's why all this uh, purchasing is happening in the NFL. Old Lang Syne, is that, what does that mean? Old. Um, See you old, next year. Old Ugly oh, Woman? Was it Old Ugly Woman? I think, I think old so. <laughs> yes. Old Ugly Woman, yes. <laughs> Pat, is that, uh, what is that? that, is is that, old, is that uh, old old Angry Man, I think. Some form of ancient Irish. Uh, yeah, something like that. Boy, that is goes on. Yeah, I look I, it up, don't I? The tempo in this one. Is this you're supposed to kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason. Version. Well, could you find one a little bit more upbeat, for God's sake? <laughs> God, God you know what? <laughs> I kind of like this one. <laughs> and that's when Guy Lombardo <laughs> took himself out. Have you ever thought about playing the clarinet? You seem like a clarinet. I used to play it many years ago. I don't have the skill. I don't even know how to spell embouchure. But, uh, I don't think you need an embouchure for yeah, the clarinet. clarinet. Very hard. I you could. wrap your lips around it. Played it for several years. Hey, you know how to play the clarinet. You wrap your lips around it and blow, right? right? No, not really. You have to. You know, it's awful. You, times you long mean? past is what old anxiety means. Okay. Nothing about old angry man? No, nah, just times mm. long past. I, kind of boring. I think Josh is the one who told me old, old ugly woman. Well, you? I had uh, heard that's what it was. I believe you. <laughs> Some old angry woman told what me. What is a dictionary? Red lies over there. So it's about me. Yeah. Hey, you know, dictionary has the word dick in it. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Isn't that really? fun? Thanks. Yeah, that's, written by a man. That's our show. I guess we'll leave on that note. <laughs> uh, last year, the... Uh, <laughs> God. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts played the uh, uh, Las Vegas Raiders, and at one point, Max Crosby, the defensive lineman for the uh, Raiders, Bing's was, boy, was uh, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to see Bing try to whack him on the ass. Anyway, Crosby was heckling Gardner Minshew during the game, calling him a little ass boy, and Minshew could not uh, figure out what was going on. We have that audio actually of uh, what happened now. Tom, you're going to get that look on your face, but you have to listen closely, okay? This is actual game action. Here we go. Little ass boy. Little ass boy. No. Little ass boy. Little ass boy. Dude, Max Crosby is so damn angry. <laughs> Bro, he oh, cut, he just... But, like, the thing is, like, he's not really that angry. I know, right? He just calls, he keeps calling everybody little ass boy. <laughs> hey, little ass boy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm little out here, but not always. <laughs> he's little out on the field. He's not always little. So is that in the huddle? Uh, it was the sidelines, actually. Oh, okay. yeah. How can you not love Gardner Minshew? That is Gardner Minshew talking about how Max so, Crosby. He's so cool. Got, uh, he does seem. Uh, Pretty real and authentic. I, I've been holding this in for a long time, but now that he's leaving, I can tell you that he was renting from one of my really good friends over the last season, and he she would drive by and he'd be out mowing the lawn. <laughs> Damn right he would. He's the guy that li he lived in his RV when yeah. he was a, when he was a what eagle. Wasn't he living, uh, up, living yeah. by the stadium in an mm -hmm. RV? And he's the guy that drove across the. He's a, he's a regular yeah, cool she guy. Goes, you don't have to mow the lawn. He goes, no, I like it. It's good. They be out there mowing the lawn. There are are guys that like to mow the lawn. Yeah. They're, 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 the, the thing I was I was talking to someone. There are also a bunch of really great people who play in the NFL, 
Well, and, sure. And, but we, you tend to hear about the bad stuff as opposed to the really cool guys and the nice guys and the but think about the, the great guys. We don't really hear about that much bad stuff considering how many players there are, you know? Yeah, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, sure. So oh, yeah, he's got the bag, as they say, the bag of cash. <laughs> how There's much money a, a did lot he, of other he got bags. a lot, didn't he? Two years, $25 million. Woo. So do the math there. That's going to be $12.5 million a year, give or take. Am I right on that? And if he's in Vegas, there's no lawn to cut, right, Ace? And, yeah, and a, lot of, a lot of turf out there. And yeah. no and no income tax to pay either. State tax. Uh, you heard wrong. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's no income tax. Oh, you tax. mean state, state income tax? Yeah, state okay, income okay. tax. Okay, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they still have to pay the uh, income tax in each state they play in. Depending on the state tax Yeah, laws. I don't understand that at all. We had to do that on we the got, comedy tour. We got tagged on the comedy tour, too. Yeah. Josh, did you, you had to face that when you were traveling around the country, right? Yeah. 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 That's nuts. Pay every state you perform in. Man. I have an accounting question. How do you keep track because of Because don't, don't they have to pay, how many games are there, 17? What is it? Yeah, 17 now, soon to be 18. Do, do they have to pay one seventeenth of their tax on it? I, I guess so. They divide it Couldn't up. Couldn't you make an agreement with the team to pay you daily? Isn't that, isn't that how they get paid? Like, after... But couldn't you make arrangements with the team, say, look, I want you to pay me, I want to check every day so that the, the IR, you'd only owe the states I, of state for... Um, one day's pay. Wouldn't the way that be I reasonable. See, the way I see it, every Tuesday they line up at the will call window, and the players go get their check. That's what I see. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how it works? Now, both Chick and I have oh. the same story. When both when in the early days of our careers in radio, it was Friday. Absolutely, when the checks true. would come in, everyone our would rush to the bank because <laughs> after about four people had hit the account, they wouldn't cash anymore Yikes. they were out of money my general manager would hide on fridays not oh. until 9 30 10 o'clock he'd show up with the checks because you know he you'd have to keep them for the weekend and yeah yeah, yeah. We've, we've lived through that uh well in any event we'll find out about what's going on in the world of the nfl a bunch of cool stuff in the news update on the uh amputees that attended the chiefs game uh, How is this not a bigger story I it's keep getting saying bigger i opened my phone today and it was one of the lead stories on it so Man. And, when, and these are folks that uh, got such severe frostbite. Frostbite. That the they, Packers fans are weighing in, going, "What's wrong with you people? We we know how to. We've never faced anything like this, and we live here on the frozen tundra. What's your problem? Be prepared. Mm -hmm. They're blaming the victims, is what they're doing. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what. I mean, Kansas City gets cold every yeah, year. Every year, build a dome. You got the money. Come on. They got the bag. Uh, now, uh, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by Better Help. Now, we spend a lot of our lives wishing we had more time. What are you going to do with that extra time? You've got some extra time right now. How about using it to do something positive? Taking care of your head is part of that. And uh, one of the best ways to do that, one of the most convenient ways to do that is uh, through therapy. That's what Better Help is all about. The way it works is you uh, go online, fill out a brief questionnaire, you get matched with a licensed therapist. And then the therapy itself is done online. And by the way, you can switch therapists at any time, no extra charge. Uh, again, uh, uh, making your mental health a priority is important. And this, uh, this system is so much more convenient and flexible. And it's uh, going to save you a lot of time. It's called BetterHelp. You go to BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today. That'll knock 10% off your first month if you use that slash BT Show tag. So uh, learn to make the time to uh, find out what makes you happy through therapy with better help and once again the therapy is done online it can be done like it's a zoom call or a, what a, a facetime call or, or or a phone call with no camera or just uh, texting back and forth it's all about whatever works for you it's also going to give you a lot of flexibility and save you a lot of time you don't have to get in your car and drive somewhere or uh, take the bus to some office it's all done online so find out how contemporary technology can apply to Classic therapy. BetterHelp.com slash BT Show is the place to go. That's BetterHelp, H E L P. BetterHelp.com uh, slash BT Show. Coming up, we have uh, turkeys that are terrorizing people. We have Stone Age tools. And this is kind of cool a story about uh, um, early man and uh, his and her use of facial piercing. That's right. Hey, kids, you're on to something. Huh. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Essential Morning Radio.
Hey, hi, I'm Tom. This is Chick. That's Josh. And this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston. The Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right. Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus... Don't forget. Did you see the word don't forget? <laughs> no, but it's all but it's like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's just like comedy don't show. Miss amazing Start is over. Wrong word. Hey Charleston, it's the Bob and Tom show. That's right. And our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Speech. <laughs> Speech. <laughs> Speechery. One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest. Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! I'm watching the dating game. That's right. Mm -hmm. And here they are. <laughs> From Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> he's an inveterate masturbator. <laughs> what? He's, uh, <laughs> he's trying to grow a beard. I think he's got a radio name. It's oh, yeah. Chuck Michaels. <laughs> yeah. Good, good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Oh, my okay. God. Wasn't this for okay. T-Berry gum or something? Didn't they use that? Uh, the T-Berry have... shuffle. Right? Now, was that uh, oh. was that indeed the dating game or uh, was, was that what the newlywed game? Oh, the lonely, no, the lonely it sounded no, like one of them. I don't game? know. There. Is this it? Yeah, this is the dating game. And here yeah. they are. Yep. He's an obsessive compulsive from <laughs> Midwestern <laughs> United States. <laughs> He likes collecting things and telling people what to do. Including Ladies children and gentlemen, and dogs. he loves shiny <laughs> objects. <laughs> and he's just now. He's a member of the Black Panther Party. <laughs> and, I didn't, I didn't expect that one coming. <laughs> oh, he didn't. And a confirmed bachelor. Uh, All right, now, uh, here they are. He's out. fathered nine children. Uh, Ladies uh, and gentlemen, uh, big round of applause for Tom Griswold. <laughs> That's where you come around the, the partition. Okay. Now, this we is where you go. Bachelor number one. one uh, hey, if I if no, I was bachelorette greasy, number one. If I were a bush, <laughs> what if kind I drop some food on the floor, how many seconds before you eat it? <laughs> <laughs> Frigamall Records, the same people that brought you the all-bass Christmas album, Amazing Bass, are proud to present Jimmy Pardo's first solo project, Nothing But Air Bass. Hi, I'm Jimmy Pardo. You know, there's nothing cooler in rock and roll than the bass. And these songs are so cool, I don't even need a bass. <laughs> <laughs> so just pick up your air telephone and dial. Beep, 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 beep. Jimmy Pardo's nothing but air bass. Get yours today. <laughs> Williams is here with us. You ever talk in your sleep, though? Uh, I don't know. 
<laughs> you want me to camp over tonight? <laughs> was that like a subtle uh, invitation? Yeah, is that uh, what it was? I don't know. You need a place to stay? Is that what you're <laughs> trying do. to hint at? I'll lay on your new shag carpet. <laughs> Bob's got a nice place. Here's what happened the other night. I, I wake up in the middle of the night. My girlfriend is crying her eyes out, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, baby, what is wrong? Baby. She's like, you were talking in your sleep last night. <laughs> oh, and I'm no. like, I'm like, well, what did I say? She said, you said it's over, you big greasy freak. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked at her right in the eyes, you know, very lovingly, very lovingly. And I said, baby, no, 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 no. I, I wasn't asleep. <laughs> 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 Get the hell out of here, you big greasy freak. Don't let the door hit you in the beat. No, no. Hi, this is Mike McG Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I'm Chick McGee. Here's Tom Griswold. Hello, Tom. Good morning. Uh, hello, everybody. It's great to be here. And uh, we have uh, our secret location. Uh, we have found the band, the Electric Amish. Uh, there they are. I can see the fellas right now. Uh, hey, good morning. You want who, who's who's going to handle the uh, introductions in there? God, is that you? <laughs> oh, it, it, it's it's the it's the Bob and Tom program. Oh, is that Tom? Yes, yes, sir. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that's what this was. We um, they told us to come in this nice barn, play some music, but uh, <sighs> so it's you guys again, huh? Do you want to introduce the fellas? <laughs> I don't, but I will. Uh, my name's Graber Goodman. Uh, this over here on the bay is Carl Goodman. Hi, everybody. Hi, Carl. No, no relation. Uh, back there on, on the skins, that uh, and he's also playing drums today, he is Barry Goodman. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Hi no Christy. Hi, Barry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Now, Graber, I, uh, uh, I can't help but notice uh, your, uh, your axe, so to speak. Uh, my axe is uh, back at the barn. Uh, that is a, a fine-looking guitar. <laughs> it, oh, uh, this old thing? Yeah, look, it kind of resembles the caution sign in the back of a buggy. It's a slow-moving vehicle sign, Tom. Uh, and, uh, what is that? Right. Is, is, really is, is that? If you would obey that, I know. Is that a regular manufacturer by one of the larger guitar manufacturers? Is that available? Is that the, mean, gra the Graber model? You mean like the Gibson Corporation? And maybe they might want to do some sort of signature model where they would do that and I would get a little taste of it. <laughs> sure, exactly. Oh, 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 Peter oh, Frampton, that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, like you can get a Jeff Beck guitar, an Eric Clapton guitar, a Carlos got it, Santana. Got it. Need it. Uh, a Graber Goodman guitar, yeah. Graber Goodman guitar. I like, like the sound of that. That is a fine-looking, fine-looking instrument. Well, fellas, um, do you want to uh, give us a little taste of your work right now, a little song for us? I guess we might as well. we got time for one more song, don't we, boys? <laughs> oh, I think so. <laughs> All right. This is a song. Um, you guys like songs about pigs? Oh, sure. Yeah, we got a, we got big pig news coming up today. Heck yeah. Oh, the, pig well, this news. will work out great then, won't it? Is it a sad song? Uh, well, it kind of depends on uh, your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> well, because our, our pig story is, is really not a happy one. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe you can switch shift this to a minor key. But will you do the song, and we'll tell you the story. All right. It sounds fair to me. Pig did not get better, huh? <laughs> no. Eins, zwei, drei, vier.
like a piggyback guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, Woo! the electric yeah! Amish. All right. Uh, and uh, the Get song, me. Give Me Three Pigs. <laughs> uh, now, the electric Amish will be taking their buggies to Logansport, Indiana, Saturday, March 23rd at the State Theater for a huge show. Are you guys aware of that? Uh, we heard we had to go to Logansport. And I, I think uh, somebody at Triple Day messed up our trip tick. Oh, because I don't think we were supposed to come this far south to get to Logan's. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Check uh, local maps. Okay, good. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you guys take five. And are you? Are, is it planting season for you yet? Take five. What? Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll come back and talk to the electric Amish in a few minutes. Thank you, fellas. Uh, do Do you want to do our sad pig story, or do you want to wait? I yeah. think we uh, almost have to do the pig sad pig Caso. story. Pig Casso? The remember, remember Pig Casso? I don't. I don't remember Pig Casso. Known for her expressionistic works has died at the age of eight. Oh. Her caretaker, Joanne Lefson, said, quote, Your life made a difference in the world. You not only challenged the art fraternity Pig Casso, you also inspired millions of people to acknowledge farm animals as the sentient individuals that they are, each one worthy of our empathy and compassion. Remember Pig Casso? It was, yeah. uh, they would uh, uh, kind of, the pig would roll around and paint and make, sort of, <laughs> as, as it was termed, expressionistic uh, art. Oh, sure. All right. All right. Uh, it's my understanding they're going to uh, bury Pig Casso. Oh, really? About four feet under in some nice coals. <laughs> oh, oh. I'll be a... Uh, <laughs> nice about, apple in about his eight, mouth. <laughs> eight hours later. Kind of a cremation burial yeah. combo. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. We had some samples of the art. I'll, I'll see if I can dig some up. I don't see you ever being at a hog roast. I've been to a hog roast. You've been to a hog roast? Absolutely. Really? Sure, absolutely. An old-fashioned hog roast, oh. not... What do you mean old-fashioned? Well, you so know... It was they a, put the pig, in the pig in the ground and... and yeah. Yeah. Okay. They Got some beer on ice? Hunks, yeah. yeah. Drink a lot of pig. beer. D d absolutely delightful. I think a town West Jefferson, I think, when I was a kid, they had a annual ox roast or hog roast or something like that. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So should be a pretty tasty wake and funeral. So uh, but we'll we'll see if we can find. I remember out. the art looked like it, it, it. You could find a place in a museum for it. Looked uh, like some compared path. to some of the other stuff. <laughs> it would be fine. Yeah, uh, remember the, 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 it was the, passable. The, remember the thing with uh, Farrah Fawcett. Yes, the, the of actress. Course. Oh, she uh, painted with her nipples or in something. Gold. Remember yeah. she ran, right. rolled around in gold paint. At her own brush, if you will. And she would lie mm -hmm. down and paint, and then roll over a canvas. Yeah. Oh, did she have a? Brush, or I think at the time was or, it clean? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Huh. No, in that so. particular era. <laughs> I know Ryan O'Neill was devastated when she passed away. Right? Sure, yeah. yeah, love of his life, and a boy. yeah. I did not have that uh, poster. Did you have that poster? No, oh, no, you, no. You missed that. Made famous in the movie. Oh, I don't know. Saturday Night Fever. I thought no. that was Al Pacino in Attica. No, I thought I thought doesn't uh, in in Saturday Night Fever John Travolta have that in his room? Um, the famous I remember nipples him off. looking it out Attica, Attica uh, from Dog Day. <laughs> Maybe I I don't know. I don't remember Farrah Fawcett though. I thought I thought it's that possible. poster was in a, okay. Um, in in any event, uh, uh, sad news in the world of pigs. Uh, we'll um, is eight. Uh, what do you think? Do you think that does that sound about right? What eight, eight years for, for a pig? pig? Seven eight years. Hmm. I uh, boy, I don't know. I've never had a cap. I've never had a pig as a pet. Well, They're artists, like, some artists are tortured and they don't live as long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Aren't they, uh, are they still uh, in fashion? Uh, uh, tea a pot-bellied? Cup, tea cup pigs oh. or whatever they're called? Pot -bellied They're pigs. apparently great pets. They're, but, they're very, 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 they're, very I, smart. I saw a news report that there were people selling them out of trunks and they were actually not the little ones that stayed small. Yeah. They, would act, they were actually full-size pigs and... Oh, they became full size. Like, yeah, so you know, someone comes, you know, they, they start to love these little piggies, and the next thing you know, they've got a oh my goodness, three hundred pound pet running around. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm and trying to moving to the suburbs. Yeah, I, mean, I can't find any of the uh, paintings of from uh, Pig Casso right now. You know, uh, the male pig has uh, um, a curly schlong, a curly just like their tail. Yes, and it uh, fits 
the yeah. curly canal of yeah. the female. It's so odd. Yeah, right? Talk about a screw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you really? think that's where the term comes from? Uh, it could it be. Might. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, listen to that. The natural lifespan of a pig is 15 to 20 years. Oh, whoa. Well, mm -hmm. what happened? Well, you know, all artists tend yeah. to die young. Sort of a Basquiat type ending. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't, uh, girl. The, didn't girl. Picasso, the original Picasso, didn't he carry a gun around? And he also had. What? Oh, really? Owl as a pet? Yeah, I think so. He had a, a bunch of weird stuff going on. He uh, kept a gun for art critics. I think this is What? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all yeah, true. Yeah, he yeah. was real poor for a while, wouldn't he? Wouldn't he just, he would just jot something down on a napkin and sell it? And yeah, like, yeah, Things yeah. like that. And pay for lunch? Fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, we'll uh, I, I'm there trying to find go. some pictures. There we go. Oh, yeah. there's I mean, that, you could hang that in a museum and, be, and, and people would be like, oh, that's interesting. And Absolutely. Of course. I think it's better than some things I've seen. <laughs> like, I agree. I agree. That's it's really pretty. It's, it's lively and, and very colorful, swirling uh, uh -huh. sort of raspberry coloring. Uh, yeah, once again, as, a, as, a, as drawn by a pig. It's not pig, bad. That pig looks aware. <laughs> yeah, apparently they're, they're, they're like crazy aware. But yeah, it does. Doesn't it? It's like, hey, look what I did. <laughs> He's posing next to his work. Um, I'm, I wonder how the, how the, this, this article here says uh, pig casso uh, paintings sell for uh, $4,000. Whoa, man! And he was actually rescued. He's a rescue pig. He <laughs> was he was rescued. He was literally taken out of a slaughterhouse. I bet the price goes up today. It's a girl pig. Oh, sorry. Yes, she'd be very offended right now. Oh, a sow. It says a yes. sow. Sorry. Yes. Sow is the lady pig. Yes, sir. Okay. Or as a, as a male pig, okay. right? Okay, very good. Thank you. I did not realize. Um, it they uh, left paintbrushes in the barn, and it says doesn't really say how she does it. Um, so, uh, in, in any event, uh, uh, there's a book out there you can buy as well about Picasso. Okay. Uh, let's move on to a big, oh, a big news from the world of sports. I bet that's a, a kid's book, right? Picasso? That'd be a cool kid's book. I don't know. Okay. In oh, the world of sports? Yes. Uh, Kirk Cousins uh, is heading to the Falcons. Saquon Barkley. Quan Quan Barkley. Barkley is joining the Eagles, and uh, the Ooh. New York Giants fans are more than uh, peeved. Uh, they're in the same uh, division, uh, obviously, the Giants, Eagles, Cowboys, Washington. Uh, the first day of what they call NFL's legal tampering, a free-for-all frenzy with teams making one big move after another, highlighted by Cousins' decision to leave the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, he got the, what, what did he get, Tom? Got the bag. <laughs> got he bag. got the bag. $180 million deal, four years, $100 million guaranteed, plus a $50 million signing bone bonus. Uh, the Giants have acquired edge rusher Brian Burns from the Panthers, pretty much the only player on the Panthers worth a damn. The Chiefs have made it a... Official. They finalized that five-year deal, $160 million, with Chris Jones yesterday. And the New York Jets have agreed to terms on a deal with quarterback Tyrod Taylor, making him still in the league, one of the only NFL players named after a car part. There's Cadillac Williams, Tyrod Taylor, uh... Jim Otto. <laughs> <laughs> I love gonna, that one. Are we going to? Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's fair. We're going to count? Give, we're that's gonna good. Count I, that? I think he so. He was in the league. <laughs> yeah, he's not in the league anymore. He's, he's Ace, can you away. compile a list of all NFL in the history of a... Yeah, why don't you get on? We'll start with Otto Graham. <laughs> Otto Graham. Yeah, that's, that's all right. That's good. Otto is such a great name. You don't hear it much. No, you don't. Otto's going out of fashion, definitely. That's for sure. If I have one more kid, let's go with Otto. Okay. Gardner Minshew goes from the Colts to the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Two years, $25 million. Got the bag. He you got, go, Gardner. He got he got the bag. I'm going to have to start watching the Raiders now, Ace. I just love Gardner Minshew. Uh, we, by the way, have a Gardner Minshew tribute coming up. Is that correct, Pat? Sure. And I understand it's going to be a, a de a, quite the debut a version of the Gardner Minshew song. A little update. Uh, ah. Not just a little update, though. We're going to have a, something very unusual about it today. Washington football team agreed to terms with running back from the Chargers, Austin Eckler. Two years worth $12 million. Uh, and... More sports coming up, Tom. All sorts of things. How's your team doing? Uh, they're doing all right. Normally, they don't do anything in free agency, but they uh, already signed Austin Eckler, so that's a 
They Antonio Gibson goes to the Bills. So, and what was the trash talk about uh, Saquon Barkley? Uh, Tiki Barber, who has uh, a radio show, was saying that Saquon is is dead to me and all Giants fans. But you're going to get that when when he goes to a team in the division. You can't. Wait, so you're, so you're telling me Tiki wouldn't have left if someone offered him $38 million? Well, that's what uh, people are are, <laughs> yeah. are rising up and don't criticize a guy for getting... Don't don't criticize him for what, Tom? Getting the bag. Getting the bag. <laughs> He's got the bag. <laughs> exactly right. He's playing with the Eagles. What does he play? Bass? Uh... <laughs> yeah, he replaced Don Felder. <laughs> oh, that'd be... Don Felder was a guitar player. Wouldn't that be funny uh, if they, they <laughs> hired Don Felder to be, like, manager? No, never, uh, never mind. All right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we'll find out more about what's going on in that world. Christy, what have you got coming up? Uh, coming up, we have a long-lost silent film that has been found over... It's over 100 years old, Josh. We talked about it yesterday and never got to the story. I really want to do that one. The silent film. And 52% of women out there are finding me time in this certain place. We'll find out where. Hmm. Me time. Mm -hmm. Is it you the, a, do you have a me time place, Christy? Yeah. Is it the you do? A lot of me time places. Really? Well, 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 I, well, we'll find out what <laughs> we'll find out what those are. Now, if you recall, if you'd like to do the math, yesterday, uh, Christy and her new husband were counting pharmaceutical pharmaceutical commercials, commercials on yesterday. Sunday during various programs. And now she's announced she's got a lot of me time. <laughs> mm, uh oh. That doesn't mean me time is alone time. No. But I, I, Christy and I were just joking about the fact that on certain programs, Ugh. every commercial is for a pharmaceutical, which should tell you who's watching. Yeah. You watch the evening news, you're going, wow. I don't know why these folks care about the news. They're all going to be dead in a couple <laughs> <Exactly>. of years. <laughs> we all sit in here, and uh, and Josh is uh, younger than us. We all talk about our our prescriptions and our maladies and our sure. aches and pains. Things going on. That's what people talk about. Right? Um. No? A friend of mine's dad has a, a group of guys that are all retired. Sure. And they meet every Thursday morning for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And there's about eight of them. This is, a great, this is a great idea. They have a rule. Yeah. The first two minutes, you can talk about your back, your knees, your gallbladder, whatever. And then after that, that's over. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's a smart move. Yeah, but a lot of those move people, on. that's all they have. That's all well, they have. It's sad. Then you can't come to the meeting, you see, <laughs> Christy. We're not going to want to hear about that. Also coming up, something really fascinating. Um, there is a an organization that um, wants men to know what it's like to have a period. Oh. All right. And uh, they um, <laughs> huh? effectively give, uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we'll find out what that's like. Hey, here's some good news. How about Raycon Everyday Earbuds? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. What the hell's wrong with you, Griswold? What? Is that it's, a real story? That yes. You know? oh. It's fascinating. Raycons have amazing audio quality, of course, at about half the price of other premium audio brands. Don't believe me? What the hell's wrong with you? They also have... Tens of thousands of five-star reviews readily available on the Internet. And the Raycon's optimized gel tips fit every ear ever made, and they actually stay in your ears. Also, Raycon, eight hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth syncing, 32 hours of battery life, and go to, we've got a deal for you, of course, buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's 20% off free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Just last night I was charging my Raycon over-the-ear headphones. Ah, right. for the love girls. those, love those for the girls. Uh, Keep them quiet in the back seat on spring them, break. Keep them quiet. Uh, and they get to listen to whatever they want, and Daddy doesn't have to hear it. Check out those Raycon earbuds. This they're be the best, and those Raycon over the ear headphones. And coming up. an update on Pablo Picasso coming up. All right. Yeah. And Raycon earbuds fit everyone, including Van Gogh. Yeah. Mm. Yes. As some would say, Van Huff. You've seen the photograph of him with the earphones on. <laughs> it was largely largely ornamental what he cut off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, really right. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at one eight 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 Bob.
Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Christy and I were talking about a dream date, and I thought we would yeah. maybe... Um, with each other. Maybe, for the first time ever. Maybe uh, it might be easier if I sent my assistant on the date with you, and then she could tell me if we had a good time or not. <laughs> and then, see, never, that's never, exactly never. what we I have. see that coming. Uh, never mind. Um, oh, yeah. oh. Now, do you turn your phone off? I put it on vibrate. Mm. And where is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's in my yeah. purse, usually. Uh, purse, okay. I mean, I don't, I don't mm. look at it. I wouldn't... Okay. But you have to keep your phone on. Oh yeah, come on! You, I know, I know. No, not only answer it. Hold he's on, wearing the important. Bluetooth during no, that. No, that's completely <laughs> false. Absolutely no, this is important. Hold on. <laughs> completely false. I almost never answer my phone. All right. Very, very rarely. Yeah, I don't. And let no. <laughs> All right. So you got that, unless of course it's one of your kids, right? Well, that's the thing. I look yeah. at it. And, yeah, mm -hmm. but you got five. Four so of them could call at any time. Yeah, six out of ten calls are from your kids. You know that. Yeah. Six out of ten. Uh, which happens right. seven no. out of ten uh, times. Yeah. Nine out so. of ten. The and other then, the other four are wrong dials. Yeah, and chances uh, are you're going to have to go pick up one of them, so that means I'm going to be sitting there by myself for a while. You're bitching at me already? I haven't even answered the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Uh, what, what, what would be your opening Shiraz or uh, Shiraz. salvo conversationally? What would you open with? If well, you, I've known you all yeah. half yeah. But my say life. You didn't. What do you do for a living? Mm -hmm. Say you didn't. What would, you, would you ask me something, or would you start telling me about your life? No, let's not do that. No, let's just approach this like you two, the two you, people that you are. What would you talk let's to each other? Let's stay in reality. We do. So what we go. We talk about? You know, I've never <laughs> thought of you romantically. Well, we have two hours to kill. Let's talk about what's wrong with chick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. Let's talk about uh, how you. Sex, baby. Is yes, <laughs> sex. How you yeah. like it. How do you approach it? Well, see, now we, yeah. we had. Yeah. The, we had yeah. <laughs> what, how you approach, how you gonna approach it, Tom? See, now we had the list of first day turnoffs. How are you going to crack this code? Come on. Here we go. I'm going to get those uh, ankles on your shoulders is what I want. Yeah. Because, because yeah. see, not on this list from USA Today, uh -huh. um, uh, mismatch clothes, 36% first day turn off, oh, and you go up the clothes. list, and um, yeah, yeah, body odor, 94%. <laughs> I'm clean. I have no body odor. No. But my, my pet peeve of uh, first day turn offs, women who don't put out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. And now, from the Amish Brewing Company, Buttermilk Ice Light. <laughs> Ringer! <laughs> nice toss, Graber. Thank you, my friends. Women of the Old Testament. Hmm. Okay, Ruth or Mary Magdalene? <laughs> mm, Ruth. Okay, how about this? Ruth or Eve? Eve. <laughs> buttermilk Ice Light from the Amish Brewing Company. The hand-churned buttermilk is frozen. The curds removed, put in the back of a buggy and driven around town until thawed, then returned to the farm and slowly filtered through a hand-sewn patchwork quilt, <laughs> then refrozen to create the unique taste of buttermilk ice light. Okay, plain black floor-length dress or red lacy see-through teddy? 
Mm. Plain black floral dress. <laughs> <laughs> when you say buttermilk, you've said it all. Ninety-nine glasses of buttermilk on the wall. Hold, Nine. hold it, Fritz. Uh. Fritz, move over. Let me drive the buggy. Ah, it's okay, Graber. I took his reins away when he wasn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good friend, Yoder. <laughs> the Amish Brewing Company would like to remind you, if thou hast had too much to drink, thou shalt not drive. <laughs> Amish Brewing Company, Napanee, Indiana. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24-7. Not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom. 24-7. Morning, Bob and Tom show. Good morning. How you guys doing? Fine. We're a little stunned, but we're okay. I uh, got one for you. I was telling him, uh, when I was in a service in Germany, I hooked up with another service member, and uh, she said, uh, choke me, you dirty bastard. I'm going to go like a freight train. <laughs> oh, no, <hold> on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Write I that down, up. Chick. Choke me, you, you dirty bastard. bastard. I'm going to go like, like a, a freight, freight train. train. All right. I like the looks of that. <laughs> Oh, my. Yeah, she was kind of weird. She used to like me to choke her with uh, that rubber surgical tubing. <laughs> <laughs> that takes a little work, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, that oh, that takes a little work. Yeah, now, I think that's probably to stop her from farting, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Five. Four. Three. Two. two one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Q95.com. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. All right. Oh. That's You're listening to the electric homage in the background. Isn't that great. Graber, Barry, and Carl. They've got it cranked up this morning. Yeah, we're, they are officially our house band this morning. And uh, they look freshly groomed as well. Those beards are on point, as uh -huh. the kids say. Mm -hmm. What if no. they use beard oil? Oh, I mean, they must. They probably use, uh, they churn it. Yeah. I was hoping they brought me some butter this morning. I was really looking uh, forward to uh, it. You want some butter, Christy? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you make? Do you like duck butter? Why don't you guys make her duck butter? Don't you guys? Can't you guys make her some nut butter? <laughs> That's disgusting. Too, boss. Okay, there you go. <laughs> nut butter coming up. Uh, uh, the Electric Amish once again in concert. Uh, this is unbelievable. Uh, they're going to be at the State Theater in Logosport, Indiana, and um, it's uh, a ways away, so they'll have time to get their buggies up there. Mm -hmm. Saturday, March 23rd at 7.30 at the State Theater in Logosport. Thank you very much, Amish fellows. We're going to uh, let you take another five, and we'll be back for another song here in just a few minutes. We'll see. Okay. Um, <laughs> the grocery store I go to, there's a big sign that says Fresh Nut Butter. Oh, right, they make it right there? Right there in the corner, yeah. Oh, and it really? Is, peanut butter oh. that you can mm. but it's called fresh nut butter i think you shop there too quite often do they uh, jar it up for you there yeah you can uh yeah you have it all uh yeah wow. package. it's remember the uh fresh ground roast coffee you could get sometimes I just love that as yeah a they kid. still have those in some places yeah. i want to say at the a and p uh -huh. go there with my yeah, so good. So I, good. josh butter. you nailed it you yeah. get that smell you oh. just awesome I was always intimidated because I didn't know how it worked. I never really saw anybody using it, but I just the smell. See, Christy, you're, I totally agree, and yeah. I think I might have mentioned this to you. It's like blackjack at um, the casinos. I don't <laughs> and it's like those nuts and stuff at the other that's stores. That's what I was just yes. going to say. I thought, yeah, that's too intimidating. You, you to heard use what it? happened to me there. No, what happened? Well, I'm on this new diet, and part of it is I'm allowed to eat all these nuts. Yeah. <laughs> so I. Uh, all your protein loading. That's right. So I. Um, went up to that machine and it's it looks like a sh it's this sort of chute. Sure. And you have to put oh, the you have to put the, you, have to, you put the bag you put the bag there and you and I didn't really know what well, I those shoots not I'm just better. I was just there's no one there to show you. Yes. I don't want to be like an idiot. I'm a man of a certain age. I should be able to operate this thing. Well, but and you I, can't operate anything in your defense. Well, I is that his defense? Not exactly. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how it happened, but there were a lot of. Uh, very expensive cashews on the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they sure are proud of those cashews. They sure aren't they? are. Oh, they're delicious. Yeah. Are they hard to come My by? They must be a pain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're up on some mountain. Like, I get why 
shelled pistachios are expensive. Sure. If you've ever tried to shell a pistachio, or pistachio it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the cashews. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> and then, Pat, isn't that the only kind of milk you can drink? Uh-huh. Cashew milk? Cashew almond, yeah. And well, how do you find the nipples on those cashews? Know, it's very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's got to be a bitch. <laughs> well, you okay. to dinner first. Oh. Okay. Uh, in any event, uh, <laughs> where were we? Oh, uh, the, the big guy. Uh, this is a New Year's Eve in the NFL. That's correct? right. Uh, we had a did, lot did of... Did we find a much more uh, an upbeat no? Signings so we're stuck yesterday. With that no, we're doing this one. This is perfect. It's sad. This is like the lonely drunks New Year's. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Nice. Um, big glad, signings glad yesterday. I dunked a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what? Is... Kirk Cousins to the Falcons. <laughs> Saquon Dry Barkley. Saquon Barkley. To the Eagles. Thank you, Christy. Uh-huh. Uh, Brian Burns. <laughs> They're having their own show over there. Hey, Tom, Brian Burns, as of course Peter's brother. Uh-huh. He goes to Peter the Giants. Peter Burns, I read that book. <laughs> Slide down the banister. I pee badly. Peter <laughs> Burns. Peter Burns. <laughs> uh, I got the clap by Peter Burns. Did you ever read the book? <laughs> The Prostitute Diaries? No. I, I'm a humping y'all. <laughs> huh. I, I don't remember that it's one. It's a classic. <laughs> Austin Eckler goes to the uh, Washington football team. Uh, and speaking of the NFL... You can kill the music. <laughs> or did it, Joke's over. Did it commit, commit suicide? Some of the people who attended the near-record cold Kansas City Chiefs playoff game back in January, yes, this is true, had to go undergo amputations after suffering frostbite. Mm. Research Medical Center said in a statement it treated dozens of people who had experienced frostbite at the game between the Chiefs and the Dolphins at Arrowhead. Tom has his hand raised. Yes, Tom. Yes, yes, Tom. Prediction. Yeah. Or question. Will or anyone what? have the courage to take one of those uh, big foam fingers, we're number one, and cut it half off? I sure hope and so. take it to the game? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> amputate. That would be funny. <laughs> amputate from the knuckle. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> that is funny we to have, us. We yeah. Have, yeah. yeah. It's it's probably not. Finger. <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't think I'd, I, I wouldn't give it much thought now, but I wouldn't want to get a finger amputated. Would you? No. 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 If, if nothing else, I wouldn't have all 10 anymore. Right. Right? Yeah. I don't think anybody wants to do that. Do they have prosthetic fingers? They, they do. must, yeah. Uh, Thumbs, I know they, they would have to. Well, the thumb, like I told you, they do the swap. <laughs> You've told me this, and I don't believe you. Well, you're an idiot. I have a letter from a surgeon who does this for a living. <laughs> So your response to someone who doesn't believe you is they're an idiot, or no? Is it just I know. Me? I, no, I have, I have enough background to know that you're an idiot. Oh, okay. No, it's a uh, the sample size is back. Yeah, huh? yeah. No, right. no, they they. Uh, this guy wrote me a nice letter. He um, he takes the let's what is it second toe in and puts it up and makes it makes it into a thumb so you have an opposable joint. Not the big toe. The yeah, second the, toe. The guy you that need I, the big toe to walk, don't you? I don't know the Balance? guy. The guy that I met that had it done. He uh, it, he told me unless I misunderstood him it was years he told me that it was his big toe I sat next to him at a Rush concert. Huh. You have All to right. walk in circles then, right? If you take off your big toe, I think. Oh, that's of course. Mm-hmm. Like, like I said, he's an idiot. No, uh, I uh, now uh, what's coming up in sports? Um, <laughs> other sports information, but we just did the amputation story about the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, and I believe Pat Godwin has a fabulous. No, 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 song. no it's not Pat Godwin. It's oh, yeah, that's right. It's is, is, is am that? I mistaken? Is it Tony Bennett? Hi, how you doing? I don't know. Tony sounds, but it's a little like Frank. That's right. <laughs> hey, Tony, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, Chick. All Thank right, you very much. You're looking good, by the way. Thank you. Right Old back at you. brown eyes? <laughs> yeah. I like to paint. <laughs> I lost a finger when the Chiefs played San Francisco. Uh, they played the Dolphins. I know, I know, I know. Don't let the facts get in the way of a good tune. Okay. <laughs> I got gangrene. Gangrene. Below the knee, <laughs> I lost a foot. Where did my <laughs> fist go? <laughs> I love my team, the Kansas City Chiefs. So I love my team enough to lose something for yeah. a digit, my fingers. Woo! Ah. Wow. They've got to do something special for those people who lost, don't they? Like a, a jersey or something? 
A jersey. Or, or a, wow, thanks. Well, you, can't, yeah. you can't give them gloves. <laughs> or maybe go with mittens, depending on where the damage was done. Uh, we're gloves. coming back. We're going to have a song from the Electric Amish. Uh, right. Also coming up today, comedian Tom Papa, the early edition of that Ace Cosby joke of the day. Oh, boy. And we have some a, a great world record. And uh, have you ever heard of Archimedes' death ray? Yeah. It's back in the news. Death ray. This mm. is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right, it all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or Deacon, Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale now, and they're going fast. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! fantasy date with uh, Ralph and uh, Christy Lee. And interestingly enough, Ralph said you'd pick her up in your Mini Cooper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pick her up in the Cooper. Take her to a sushi place. Take her to a sushi place. And ask, some her, good and ask her about her day and what, yeah. what she's interested and in. Then yeah. And then a little dancing. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. impressive. Mm -hmm. And see when you got First when you dealing don't with take an, you dancing. Oh yeah, you got to go dancing. You got to let her let, let your hair down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Touch her Are a lot. Are you drinking? Uh, I'm you drinking more than me. Uh -huh. Yes indeed. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, back up one. Back up one. <laughs> touching her a lot? Yeah, well, you yeah, touch yeah, her when you uh, dance. You, well, uh, you what I know about Christy uh, you, and you can you can feel, you can feel out whether a woman likes to be touched, you know, and you touch her, you just make body contact, but not like you're trying to feel her up, but just put your hand on her back every mm. now and then, you know. And on You're a smaller smooth. back, let it slide no. down. No, it's just you can no, feel it. No, you are. You now, let me can ask you, feel you know, it. What, what a woman is like what, an what instrument. Would you, what you know? would you wear? Uh, what? I, Practically it, nothing. If we're going to sushi, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> don't wear a suit. Don't put no. a suit on. No, don't, no, you no. know, it's no. just you. Just casual. Just put casual. A, a nice summer sweater on or something like mm -hmm. that. So, you wear you cologne. Know. Uh, just a little bit, yeah, not what, too much. What kind do you wear? Yeah, I go with Gucci Envy. You know, is that you have that on now? Yeah. Yeah. Christy, give him, give, give, oh, give him a, give him a snort. There. Get in there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. oh, my you know, God. I think, uh, did you very lick clean. Him? Did you lick him? <laughs> <laughs> I think she did. That was yeah. nice. Tom's going to get a lick. <laughs> I got to hit that. <laughs> yes, you did, Tom. He's very it really, clean. Really good. <laughs> this is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? I'm getting a little creeped out here. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Tom, you Ebony. look like you. And I. <laughs> Tom, you look like your adopted son has just graduated college. <laughs> and you're over there. And this is the one from Cambodia. Uh -huh. And this is the one from uh, Africa. I want to oh, smell boy. Christy now. Uh -huh. I didn't put on anything. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, that was hilarious. Oh, my I was God. Not it smells good, you. Ralph. Does Ralph smell better uh, yeah. than Christy? No, I, I, He's I, wearing I, cologne. I'm not. That's no, not fair. Christy smells like uh, her shampoo. She smells good. But no, Ralph, smell, you smell great. What's that stuff called? It's called Gucci Envy. It's, it's very a small, clean yeah. smell. Yeah, it's nice. That is not bad. Not and, you, and, and see, men men have a tendency to put it on until they can smell it. You're not supposed to. No. You spray, spray it in the air, just walk through it, and walk through it. That's right. That spray is always walk. enough. Just spray one mm -hmm. time. Don't spray mm -hmm. four or five. Spray and just walk. Just one time. See, I'm not a cologne and person. And trust person. that other people. Now, when you walk it. through, when do you spray it? Do you spray high? No, you, you spray, spray it low. You spray, spray it below your eyes. Neck and chest level. And then neck and chest level. Sprint through it real quick before it hits the ground. How do you do that? But how fast are you going? Yeah, you stand there on the ready like it's a sprint. Uh -huh. So you spray and then you otherwise, <laughs> otherwise you're gonna have penis in there. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, it smells good. Gonna hit you right now. Uh -huh. So you gotta move while it's just kind of right. I mean, if you're, spraying, if you're spraying just high and right. walking through it, yeah. I'm sorry, you're uh -huh. gonna be, you're gonna be well, in the boys. That's the other it. Thing huh? about sex
sense is that is that women love to explore too. So if they catch it, and, and then you know they'll try to go and look for it again a little later. Oh really? You know, like where oh, was that? Oh, well, you maybe are I maybe I should just yeah. coat it. Uh, in, uh, oh. I was raised by wolves, uh, so I understand uh, women. Okay, I, I should, understand uh, women a little that's bit. Really Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. To, to, to ask Dr. Ruth for advice. And he said that he had been dating this girl, but he broke up with her because she had, and this is the hard part, she had extreme odor. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. right. that, that's what the man said. I'm sorry, but that's what he, And anyways, he said that since they had broken up, they had remained close friends. And she had dated two other guys, and those relationships broke off kind of suddenly. He thought maybe it was the same reason. Mm -hmm. Should I tell her? And as God is my witness, this was Dr. Ruth's advice. She said, send the girl some flowers. And on one side of the card, write a little poem, something, something positive, something upbeat, uh -huh. which, you know, to me, that's terrible advice. I mean, you know, uh, I, I can't imagine, you know, can you imagine that poor guy trying to write that poem? No. <laughs> uh, roses are red, violets are blue, you're real sweet, but you're <laughs> <laughs> I've went over the line, haven't I? So that's not me. I don't, that, that's offensive, isn't it, Paul? You're a classy guy, and that is, that is offensive. So. Did that, uh, are we back on the air? We are now. <laughs> I apologize. Did that have to be clipped? I apologize. <laughs> yes. I apologize to you ladies. Okay? <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Jim, we mentioned that you are a tall man. Yes. Six, 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 huh? six, six. Are you uh, a single guy or married guy? I just got married. Oh, congratulations. Yes. How's, how's that going? First timer? Yeah, first timer. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, How about uh, that? I'm learning, you know, very slowly. I'm learning, you know, uh, like, you know, when uh, women get married, they take the guy's name, and I'm learning that us guys are also given. My, my married name is somebody. Somebody's got to take the trash out. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was like, is she talking to somebody else? Is there somebody else here? Somebody. Shouldn't we be on a first-name basis by now? <laughs> well, someone's going to have to go to the hardware store. <laughs> somebody's going to have to put this table together. Uh, Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy. And you're Triple A. Thank you, Triple A. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. There's oh, I like that. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. It's Josh Arnold. Hello. Uh, Ace Cosby's here. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and we're listening to the Electric Amish. All right, the boys from the Amish. In the studio, here's Tom. They're back together. Did they break up? When did we split up? Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd <laughs> broken up. I... <laughs> but this, 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 this is your final tour, though, right? Why do they keep saying it's a comeback tour? <laughs> Where'd we go? <laughs> Everybody said we were broke up. We were just broke. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> the, the, I can't imagine Tom hearing wrong. That's no. weird. The Electric Amish are in concert. This is amazing. They're going to be uh, doing a, their thing at the State Theater in Logansport, Indiana, coming up Saturday, March 23rd. That's very exciting. Um, and uh, Tom, um, I hate to brag, but we're on a world tour. Oh. oh. We are playing uh, there. Then, gosh, in uh, August, we're playing in Metamora, Indiana. Oh. Ooh. And then we uh, head uh, in November uh, all the way up to, um, what's the place? Delphi. Delphi. Ah. Yeah. So, nice to Amish Downs. <laughs> nice, nice routing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Got plenty God. of time between. Gigs. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that's the thing. You got to have time to get there and everything, and you got to have time to remind people uh, who's who's playing there and uh, try no, to explain the joke to them. And no wonder you're broke. <laughs> Three gigs a year. Those well, uh, horses, those horses eat a lot of hay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure you fellas are familiar with the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Oh boy. So, um, <laughs> uh, I know that you're really not all that familiar with the world of comedy, being you know hardworking Amish folk. Yeah, we're kind of too busy to listening to your little show here. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so. so <laughs> I don't blame you there. Seems like a lot of bother for five people. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, Boy, it sure does, doesn't it? <laughs> let's, trim let's, this back somehow. Let's 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 school the Amish boys. Uh, uh, you, were you guys all homeschooled? 
Uh, if you call it schooling, sure. We okay. stayed home a lot, yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> Learned how to farm. Yeah. Learned uh-huh. how to chop wood. Uh-huh. Learned yeah. how to keep our freaking mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> we learned how to churn a little butter. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, but we'll, we'll get the churning in a second. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, a uh, little bit of uh, action with uh, our own Ace Cosby. And uh, Ace is uh, a fine joke teller. Who's that yeah. sexy man with a deep voice? All right. Mm. Ace Cosby. Joke of the day. Just for the Amish. Where do sheep get their hair cut? Where do sheep get mm. their hair cut? I don't know, Mr. Ace. Where do the sheep get their hair cut? <laughs> At the Ba Ba shop. I enjoyed the uh, rim shot. Oh, it's cute. At the Ba Ba. Oh, the electric Amish. It's because the sheep make a Ba sound, right? Yeah. Is that no. <laughs> Good one, Mr. Ace. I did it. I just saw Ace Cosby for the first time. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, you didn't, you didn't know? He's a Raiders fan. He is yeah. a Raiders fan. Yeah, yeah. So. I love that. They got them black and white colors. I respect that. Uh-huh. They do. Yeah. They were pirates. Very Amish-like. Black and now, um, like you guys want to play another song for us? Uh, yeah, okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, we're up for that. <clears throat> You guys, uh, you know what a heathen is, right? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> you ought to. Takes one and no one, am I right? <laughs> All, right. All right, this is a song kind of about uh, love gone wrong. <laughs> I saw her driving in a Plymouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A cellular telephone in her hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't stop myself from shouting. You'll be damned. You'll be damned. You'll surely burn in hell, lady. Heathen. <laughs> Heathen. Heathen. I couldn't get her out of that car. <laughs> I saw her through the bedroom window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remote control and DVR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's that other thing she's holding? <laughs> well, looky thar. <laughs> looky thar. <laughs> it was like a mule eating a carrot. <laughs> I don't want to know. No idea what I was looking at. Heathen. I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> I took her back down to the village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to teach her wrong from right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I learned that she'd been courting a Mennonite. A Mennonite? A Mennonite? And that ain't right. (laughs) Heathen. 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 I mean, he ain't even wearing a beard. His name was Chuck. He drove a truck. He came to get her, and the two of them kissed. <laughs> I wanted to fight with all my might. Then I remembered I'm a pacifist. <laughs> <laughs> nice drum thing there. But so solo. now I'm left with just her memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some nights I find it hard to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But despite those nasty rumors, I just count my sheep. Count your sheep? <laughs> you you just, just I just count, count my sheep. sheep. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. I just count my sheep. There's no reason to go into details about <laughs> nasty rumors. What else would you be doing with them, Graver? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Are you taking them to the Baba shop? Oh. <laughs> 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 So now all I can picture is this completely shaved sheep. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the electric Amish. Very good. Um, very very sweet. Beautiful song, Heathen. Yes. Um, 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 and, um, I want to say a big thank you, Tom, for uh, letting us come on here and perform original music. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. A lot of like, oh, no, you got to play the hits and blah, yeah. blah, blah. And uh, the guy handling your horses is uh, Eddie. Special yeah. thanks to Eddie. And, oh, uh, my gosh. Okay, so we got here to, to try to get everything set up and everything. Eddie's like the hardest working man in show business. Yeah. And he came in here and got all this stuff hooked up so nice. Because a lot of times you go places and a sound guy, they will totally 
up and there's no way. If you're like, man, I can't hear in these headphones. <laughs> Eddie's. <laughs> He knows he's, he's, what the... Do it a great, and uh, Noah is behind yeah. the cameras in there, and you can... you can watch, How do you watch this, Ace? On the Bob and Tom YouTube page. There you hey, go. You, that's channel. right. If you want to burn in hell, turn on your internet. <laughs> okay. There we go. Thank you, fellas. We learned nothing uh, from the last song. Uh, <laughs> no, did not listen to a thing. It's okay, a story sorry. song. You might learn something. Uh, once again, the Amish, uh, Saturday, um, excuse me, Saturday, March 23rd at the State Theater in Logansport, Indiana. We turn back to the sports page with Chick McGee. Luca Nardi used a combination of poise and power to stun his boyhood idol and top seed Novak Djokovic. That's right. Luca beat Djokovic. The Joker, 6-4-3-6-6-3. A win last night in the third round of the BNP Paribus Open in Indian Wells, California. Uh, this guy, Luca's 20 years old and frustrated Djokovic all evening. Mm, wow. Djokovic was a gallant in defeat, though. He shook his hand, the whole deal. A women's cross-country ski race in Norway was derailed. Due to a drunken brawl among fans. All four of them. <laughs> Norwegian broadcaster NRK, or as I like to say, NERK, <laughs> reported that several fights broke out during the event held in and around Oslo's Holmen Kolen Stadium. Holmen Kolen. Hmm. Oh, home and colon. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Some fans stormed the barriers toward the ski slope, falling over a barrier fence. Police say 50 spectators were expelled from the venue, many of them aged 16 to 20. Oh. According oh. to The Guardian, 130 individuals required assistance wow. from the Red Cross station in that area, either due to injuries or intoxication. The race was won by Sweden's Frida Carlson, of course, <laughs> who was booed as she approached the finish line. What kind of race was it? Cross-country ski race. Oh. Now, you don't hear about any of their fans losing their fingers or anything from frostbite because they're prepared. Sure. Like Chicago Bears fans are prepared. Or Green Bay Packer fans are prepared. Right. They're In Kansas City, they weren't prepared, and they ended up losing their fingers. That's exactly right. They had right. 200 people watching a cross-country more than that. Yeah. 150 had to be that's I know, they, go to the I'm, tent. That's what they say. Yeah. And it's Norway. It's It'd probably. be hard. What What would be the, uh, the formula, if you were, the shortcut to viewing a cross country? Yes. Where would you plant yourself? The, the end? Right at the finish line, I guess? Yeah. Or? You could, yeah, anywhere on the course would be fine. But, yeah, yeah. probably the, the, the most exciting spot is the finish line. Yeah, what did guess. you do when you were cross country? Where did people watch you when you did cross country? Uh, yeah, you? at the beginning and the end. Okay. That's right. You were a hairier. Is that right? Oh, at the time I was hairless, ironically. <laughs> uh, but that's another story. Uh, right now, I want to refer to uh, how to keep your body fit. Yeah. So it all starts at the ground. Did you know that? And uh, Josh is going to tell me more about that right now. Yes, it's uh, very easy to figure out how to get that body feeling better when your foundation is a little off. It's Orange Insoles. That's right, orangeinsoles.com. If you have back pain, hip pain, knee pain, you know how much it affects your daily routine. It's super frustrating, especially when you don't know why it's happening. Well, if you work on your feet all day, here's what's happening. You're putting stress on that body of yours. And what kind of support is currently in your shoes, I ask? Is it that same lame, thin liner that looks like a lasagna noodle just stuck in your shoe offering zero support? Go to orangeinsoles.com. Orange insoles offer arch support and a deep cut to properly support your heel, your feet, and thusly your entire person. Helping to alleviate all that pain. Think of a table. It wobbles without proper support, doesn't it? Well, so does your body. It all starts from the ground up. These are great for work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, high heels. I know they feel great in my high heels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Golf shoes, you name it. Find the right fit for you. And by the way, you don't have to take your scissors and do a cutout like you're making those angels when you're a kid. Uh. You sure don't. They are true to size. Can I is... trace it? No, they, they do it for you. Yes, it's, it's, it's great. Find out the uh, right fit for you when you take their insole quiz. They don't ask you difficult questions. They just want to know a little bit about your feet. Head to orangeinsoles.com today. Free shipping is available, my friends, for everybody. Plus, orange insoles come with a 60-day we-want-you-to-be-happy guarantee. And check this out. There's uh, a picture of me as the soul man. That's right. Oh, oh goodness. Look at In my that. orange suit. Because I truly am a soul man. That we is a great to shot. Get that up on social media. Cool. Orangeinsoles.com. Look, feel look better, do more. 
Oh, that's a beautiful shot, Josh. Orange insoles. Thank you, orange insoles. That's awesome. <laughs> and by the way, coming up, we have a very unusual birthday for uh, the uh, crotches of men everywhere. <laughs> uh, also, we have um, an incredibly dumb spelling in the news. And um, the death ray from Archimedes, uh, some news about that, of all things. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Anorexia. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> Ooh, I wanna be a plus size model, the kind that can't run very far. Cause if I could only be a plus size model, I know I'd be a big, big star. Please feed me. <laughs> so some, some people get sensitive about it, uh -huh. but don't. Because the beautiful women are the big women. And, I agree. Uh -huh. And I like I gained some weight, then I couldn't afford to keep it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, and I want a carbo load without having to exercise. I don't want to worry if the fat goes to my thighs. I want to wear a plus size preserve of room. I want to eat chips and wash them down with beer. Size dream, but I'm plus sized. Ornery for the best job in the world goes to the bigger girls than me. They're all sluts. <laughs> 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 Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Stanhope is with us. Uh, let's see, we've established a few things. Doug is a single man, but he's living with a woman in... Um, her, in sin. Her, her name is Bingo. Her nickname, yeah. Uh, she, uh, um, <laughs> they live in, is it Bisbee? Christy yes. felt the name to <laughs> You know, this, I, I, I get a great Bingo story, but I, like, mm -hmm. her, she's got a really... Uh, Careful. Conservative side of our family that listens to your show, and oh, I have a okay. great story, and I can't tell it. No, oh, that's oh. too bad. Well, she's very nice. We, we, we have met a, Bingo. She's very yes, nice. Yes, she's mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. and we I'm did, a, we did a charity uh, poker event at in Miami last week. This yeah. is the card game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. With porn stars. <laughs> and me. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because you hear poker. Doug's naked a lot. Did I mention that? You hear poker. Not anymore. Not anymore. Those days are over. Yeah. I bloated up when I quit smoking. I just, yeah. It got all achy. Yeah, I get all bloated and fat, and mm -hmm. yeah, I try not to be naked as much as possible. I'm sure Chick <laughs> can feel me on this oh, one. Oh yeah, I feel you, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the the only point point of my story is, uh, if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna have a uh, a threesome in a sleazy Best Western in Miami with a giant pile of stepped on blow <laughs> with Ginger Lynn, mm -hmm. do it in 1983. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying about last weekend. Fair enough. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Didn't, didn't, yeah. Work, yeah. didn't work yeah. out well. Yeah. I'm nearing 50. <laughs> hey, wait a the things minute. Things I should have done as a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why did I finally do this now? <laughs> Uh, 
That's my name. Overnight by train. Norfolk and Way, pal. Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. 24-7. 24-7. Uh, Christy, I don't know if you've seen this, uh, but it says uh, this is from the science editor, Stefan Anitie. Uh, the headline is 10 minutes of staring at boobs daily prolongs man's life by five years. <laughs> I'm going to live right. forever. Now, according to this, <laughs> according to this news account, this says uh, 10 minutes of staring mm-hmm. at the charms of yeah. a well-endowed female is equivalent to a 30-minute aerobic workout, according to Dr. Karen Weatherby. <laughs> well, you, you get one arm working out. And men aged 40 or over should spend at least 10 minutes a day admiring breasts, size D cup or larger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a requirement. This? this is from FARC. I, I have to tell <laughs> you. I, qualification. There is uh, qualification. I am a little right, skeptical. First of all, the headline should be Bob Gavoyan lives forever. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom, you can pick your morning radio show and you can pick your nose. Uh, you can disagree if you hey, can welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. What God has to say. Thank you very much. That's the uh, rehearsal room. You can hear the, uh, <laughs> you can hear the electric Amish getting ready. I'm looking Running through to... it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, oh, there, uh, Graber, can you hear me? I can hear you, Tom. Oh, good. Could you hear us? Uh, yes, yes, yeah, it was. You were supposed to. No, no, I, 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 I sound, it sounds like something originally you're working on, which sounds good. Hey, Graber, I can't help but notice I've been to a lot of concerts and. I've never seen anybody change guitars as much as you do. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and it's crazy because I've never had a roadie before. Yeah? You know, oh. Tom, Graber changes guitars almost as often as he changes his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> but that he means about half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't you just flip them around after one day? Guitars? No, you can't play them backwards. Oh, okay. I meant your underwear. <laughs> I, I, it's my understanding that you guys have a brand new song for us. Is that true? Uh, no, that is true. Yeah, we uh, we came on here. We wrote a brand new original number. Uh, if you you want to hear it, uh, yeah. absolutely. Well, that that works out great because we were wanting to play it. <laughs> so um, <laughs> here we go. You kids ready? Yep. Yep. Here we come. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a button. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is. Um, my my roadie, a guy named Dean, said uh, mm-hmm. to hit this button. I forgot to hit the button. Oh. Okay. okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you hear oh, me there now? Is. <clears throat> Again. Here we come. Click popping up the street. You think our clothes look stupid? Or it's trick or treat. Yeah, y'all, we're the homeless. <laughs> All we do is work and pray. We're the plain generation. And we got nothing to say. Yeah. Any road, almost anywhere. We're probably backing up traffic. <laughs> but we just don't care. Yeah, y'all, we're the homeless. All we do is grieve and pray For the plain generation We still got nothing to say We're just trying to be holy Amish is the only way <laughs> You can disagree if you want to But we'll see, see what God has to say <laughs> We'll see what God has to say Yeah, we'll see what God has to say yeah, I know what God's gonna say. <laughs> uh, 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 very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the electric Amish. Very nice. And uh, their tribute to, to being Amish and, sure. being, and being plain. Uh, you guys have time to do one of the classics for us? Oh, uh, we got time to do all 20 songs we got wrote down here. Okay, good. Uh, uh, I'll remind everybody, the electric Amish will actually be in concert at the State Theater in Logansport. Uh, that's coming up on Saturday evening, March 20th. Third, what do you got for us, fellas? You're so, is this is one of the classics. Uh, I, some people say it's a classic. Some people say it's hack. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is um, oh, <clears throat> this is a song uh, about um, uh, it's about a barn, honestly. Oh, okay. A lot of our songs are about barns, farm animals, farming, and heathens. Yeah. So, mm. All right. <clears throat> you guys ready? Here we go. One, two. Get 
catch a buggy rolling Way up past the silo Way up past the cornfield To a little place that I know Yeah, Greta gonna drink some cider Dance until the morning light Break all the commandments at once <laughs> Just like a dang minute night <laughs> I like wearing black clothes Reading from her Bible Talking to my milk cows <laughs> And cleaning out their stable Yeah, Greta gonna turn for butter Grab the stick and yank it up and down Start slowly, then move it faster Don't let it spill on the ground Though the person thinks it's vile It's a barn, a barn to be wild <laughs> The way you're working my churn She likes five minute night. Money? Yeah. Get your horses running. Gotta pass the hog feed. Straight out to the pasture. Or me and Greta gonna plant our seed. Better come and milk my cow. Watch it cream rise up to the top. Fire all of your udders at once. It's good to the last drop. So the person thinks it's vile. It's a barn. A barn to be wild. If we do it right, you'll be milking all night. my outhouse. <laughs> I know, Barry. Why is Graver just like your outhouse? Well, you see, Carl, Graver's just like my outhouse because they're both full of shit. Barry! Oh! Barry. You said those nasty things about my bike. <laughs> okay, Barry, yeah, I apologize. Thank you very much. It was just a joke. It's totally false. Or, yeah, it's just a silly joke. It takes seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the electric Amish and uh, barn to be wild. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, fellas. Stick around. We'll have them come back in a few minutes. They get a lot of dancers at their shows. Uh, I don't know. Oh, ask ask well, Oh, gosh. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, you packed the dance floor, didn't oh, you? Oh, heck yeah. Okay. They, I, I think they're dancing. They're, uh, I mean, they're like moving really fast all towards the exit. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, now, what about... Uh, what about kind of dance have you guys ever, ever ever written a song for a strip club? Maybe oh. like like Apple Pie? <laughs> oh, my She's my Apple Pie. pie. She's my <laughs> Apple Pie. Yeah. She's in a long skirt. <laughs> 
<laughs> Showing off her ankles. Oh. Uh, you ever well, been to an Amish strip club? Yeah. No. no. Not a great time. <laughs> it's, it's expensive and you don't get to see nothing. <laughs> a lot of hair, I'm guessing. Well, thank you, fellas. We'll, we'll, we'll bring back the boys. You can watch uh, the watch them on uh, the uh, Bob and Tom YouTube channel, et cetera, et cetera. And we've got uh, Noah doing a great job on the uh, visuals today for us. We return now to, do I, to the sports page. Yeah, right? we've got uh, you guys remember... Victor Wembenyama. Sure. Vicky, Vicky, Wem, Wem. Vicky, Vicky, Wem, Wem. Well, uh, believe it or not, he got dunked on last night. That's Whoa. right. Wembenyama oh. was the victim of a, as they say in the league, a poster, Tom. Ooh. The guy dunking on him put him up on a poster, see, and then kids will have it in their room. Uh-huh. Uh, Trace Jackson Davis uh, of the Golden State Warriors dunked on him, and here's what it sounded like on uh, the Golden State Warriors play-by-play. -play. Trace Jackson Davis. Oh! He put oh, the entire country of France in the basket! <laughs> <laughs> Take that eight-foot wingspan with you! Take that eight-foot wingspan with you. The entire <laughs> country of France he dunked on. Wow. My goodness. Uh, the jockstrap has just turned 150 years old. Hmm. Whoa. The protect, uh, protective garment. <laughs> <laughs> he said predict. <laughs> it is a dick in there. Was invented <laughs> in 18... Sounds like someone too you wanna, 1874, the jockstrap invented. Wow. Really? By Mr. C. F. Bennett, who worked for a company known now known as Bike Athletic. It was designed to protect the precious parts of bicycle messengers as they navigated the bumpy cobblestones of Boston. That makes sense. Isn't that interesting? The jock strap has since um, stretched beyond the athletic world, largely thanks to Gay men who have embraced it since the 50s. What? Really? <laughs> what? In recent decades, it has graced catwalks and magazine covers. Most recently, Kristen Stewart for the cover of Rolling Stone. Despite its age, the garment is far from fading away. Bike Athletics said it sells several million dollars worth of jock straps a year. Bike Athletics said about 70% of its customers are gay men. I'm... I'm skeptical. I'm bad. I don't understand. That's what I said. I was shouted down. That's what the Associated Press article says. I don't... Doesn't make no reason to sense. deny it. I'm sure they've done their market research. They, how, how, how do they find out about it, uh, someone's uh, sexual orientation? If they... They try to do market research. I don't... <laughs> I mean, how do they know anything? That they they know everyone knows who their audience is. Yeah, but is. that doesn't sound like a, a question that. I just want to know why. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. There's no, no. Makes no sense. No. Hmm. I've never found them comfortable at all. They're I think, weird. Yeah, I think I they'd be this... more comfortable if. Um, if uh, the if the ass crack was covered, that'd be my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't I, like I think... the butt floss, do you? You had a cup in. Do oh, they no, butt floss? No, they, it's a V. Like yeah. a, it's, it, it goes around the, the cheeks. Yeah. Oh, it does? It doesn't yeah. go so it, the it butt? Leaves, uh. It leaves the gluteal cleft exposed. Maybe that's the key. I don't think so. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I tried to tell him, and he, he won't listen to me. <laughs> that you didn't want to talk about this? I tried. I, I, yeah, yeah jock straps are not underwear for gay men. No. <laughs> I don't care what the AP. 70%. No. No. And in this case, I think AP is spelled T-O-M. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what the AP says. Look at the look at the source on this. Associated <laughs> Press. I, I, <laughs> the bike athletic company knows what they're doing. <laughs> you ever worn a jock strap, Christy? Uh, no. Of course not. She's I? not a gay man. Yeah. Why, what the hell? I've worn a thong. That's see, bad enough. When in uh, when you, in like high school football, the jockstrap has like a sleeve, like a kangaroo pocket. Yeah. And you slip in a hard fiberglass protective device. The, the cup. cup. A cup. The cup. Oh, sure. Yes. That makes sense. I thought that was why you wore a jockstrap all along. It is. I think they fit slightly better if you actually have a cup in there, I think. And in your analysis and from your experience, Chick, how many NFL players wear a cup? Zero. Man. Zero percent. We have been told. They, Why is yeah. that? I don't know. I, I think it probably slows you down a little bit. Uh, the NFL players would not wear any extra pads at all if uh, if it were up to them. They don't like shoulder pads either. But. Ooh. 
Uh, you'll have your exceptions, of course. The bigger the shoulder pads, the better, but not very many. Mm. So, Players care for happy shoulder. birthday to the jockstrap. Okay. Uh, for the entire day in their honor, I'll be cradling them. Uh, <laughs> cradling them? <laughs> You are really something. You know it's, that. It's, the, it's it's a. This is from a press release from the bike company. A press release. Why don't you, you send me? I that thought press at release. first I thought it was from the AP. So Associated what we Press. Well, that's where they got the information. Oh, is okay. That, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Is that right? <laughs> they don't. I don't know. Do you have it on your phone? Does anyone on else your, find this odd? <laughs> yes. Very. Very, very odd. This story is very odd. <laughs> <laughs> it's the birthday of the jockstrap. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so let's let's just this say, whole gay angle. I don't know why that we got dragged into it's it. It's in the story. I don't know why. Perhaps a gay gent can give us a call and tell us why they. Yes, why please. It's a big thing. Uh, where's Frank? Alabama. Frank. Let us know about this. Let if they, us know if this about is indeed this. a thing, or if the AP is <laughs> is misunderstood or something. So odd. Uh, I thought my favorite line in it was uh, Bike Athletic said about seventy percent of its customers are gay men, but. Um, what? My other my other favorite sentence is the jock strap has since stretched beyond the athletic world, largely thanks to the gay men who have embraced it since the fifties. <laughs> so Rock Hudson was walking around in a, a with jock one of these strap on? on? No. I, look, I don't <laughs> know. I, I Tom, I worry I about never, you. I never saw a picture of Tab Hunter <laughs> <laughs> sitting on a beach in a, <laughs> in a jockstrap. Yeah. Liberace on a piano was in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> I bet Liberace used to enjoy sitting. Hey, maybe we'll learn something. Please, I hope we do. Yeah, I hope so, maybe too. So. Somebody will fill yeah. us in. Our gay listeners, please let us know. I don't own I have gay strap. friends, and I, they've never mentioned once ever wearing a jockstrap. Jock strap. Do, no. do you have? Maybe that's some kind of code. Maybe. Maybe it's a secret. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> maybe it's some kind of secret society. Some I, kind I can't of imagine. Code. Pat Godwin, you own a jock strap? Uh, yeah. You do? I do, yeah. Okay. Really? Just, just one? Yeah. Just do you wear it when you play pickleball? I do, actually. No okay. kidding? Mm -hmm. What about you? Uh, I do own a, uh, a cup and a jock strap, yes. No kidding. I wore them. Uh, I was in that silly, super low budget superhero thing. Oh, I okay. All so right. I wore it as a cod piece type thing. And Ace? in case you get thrown into a baseball game, you're ready to go. <laughs> I do? You do. Mm -hmm. See, I don't, I, I don't. Although my my regular underwear has uh, one of those pouches that I, I like very much, keep the boys right to, yeah, right where I know where they are. I don't want them wandering okay. off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want them wandering off, <laughs> or, 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 or falling to the ground. Um, uh, this age. is Andy from Iowa. Hi, Andy. I have a drawer full of jock straps and wear them on a regular basis. And yes, I am a gay man. If Tom isn't familiar with the lingo, this Andy says, yes, I am a Mo. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fine, but. What does that mean? He's got bangs like Mo. Chick, you're cool, no, but hello, the second Ace. second syllable of. Uh, uh, hello. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I see. Hello, Ace and Pat. Oh, oh nice. From uh, Andy. Well, there that's very go. nice, but uh, please, Andy, let us Thank know you, why. Andy. Is and Andy, would you be insulted if uh, someone representing the bike athletic company asked what your sexual orientation was? I don't think so. I would hope not. I mean, no? every every co company knows who uses their product. Certainly, but this there's the big the big controversy little... right now involving menthol cigarettes is the best example. <sighs> the um... I don't think that's a thing either. <laughs> it absolutely is. You a thing. blank and lunatic. No, if you do it any reading. Yeah, Andy, uh, let us know if this is. It can't be an easy access thing. That just seems too. On the nose a little yeah. bit. Yeah. If you were, <laughs> if you were Dave Chappelle, this would be okay for you to be talking about. It's, Do you understand? It's what in front I'm of the you? United States government right now. <sighs> More sports uh, coming up, including today's the day. What's the day? My resignation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. No, no, don't try to talk me out of it. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is on the CBS News don't, website. Don't, oh, Jesus. don't. Here yeah, we they. Go. they uh, this. Oh, it's it it's oh, yeah, Tom. it's a thing. Oh, and I didn't realize that. I did not know that they made a rainbow of colors. In jock straps? Yeah, blue, red, white, green. Uh, yeah, you'd think so. Just because black and white sports uniforms would probably want to match. And and if it is, uh, as a gay man, listen to this. All this, right, uh, comes to us from uh, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. As a gay man, I'm surprised the percentage of jocks sold to gay men isn't higher. The reason they're so popular is because of the form-fitting front 
and and easily accessible <laughs> rear. Okay, here well, we who go. Knew? From CBS and News. And this guy says he. This guy is weighing in as a gay man. He is. Yes. Okay, here we hear. Listen to this one. This is uh, from the CBS News website. Sean McDougal, fifty-five. I'm reading this verbatim. Sean McDougal, fifty-five, a queer nudist naturist in upstate New York, owns about forty jock straps. Wow. I mean, this must be the equivalent of a woman not wearing pants on a date. I, Let's say you're a gay man and you go on a third date with a guy, and you're like, "Well, I'll go ahead and wear my jock strap." Maybe. Maybe. No. We're that is something really today. something. Okay, the owner of um, I am t I, you could knock me over with the jock strap. Yeah. The, the owner of Bike Athletic is Alex Angelchick. He says seventy percent of bike customers are gay men. All right. So there you go. We learned something today. Happy birthday to everybody. Yes. Well, uh, thank right. you for teaching us. Thank you for writing in. Once again, cradle your nuts. Um, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> we have more from the Electric Comish. And more from gay men, maybe. Uh, yeah. a comedian Tom Papa will be joining us. And also, uh, speaking of reversal of roles, you've seen those things where they uh, men put on those pregnancy suits, you know, to see what that's like. Uh, there's a new thing in which men can try uh, no. what it's like to have menstrual pain. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah this no. is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. play a new song for y'all. See if you like it. See if you like it. All right. And be sure and Bob go, ha, 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 like you do. <laughs> yeah, I can okay. do that. Well, I was just getting ready to do that after I saw your picture. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty accurate. Yeah, Have you ever had one of those days when nothing goes right? Your wife starts bitching about whatever it was she was bitching about last night. <laughs> So you escape into the bathroom Just to sit there on your throne But after you finish your business The toilet paper's gone <laughs> Well, it's a great day For me to whoop somebody's ass It's a bad day So you better get off of my back You might get cold, cock <laughs> if you cross my path Cause it's a great day For me to whoop somebody's ass yeah. Of all the radio shows I've ever done I've never done one where they could sing a song They've never heard Isn't that amazing? I was saying <laughs> the same thing How do we know the words to a new song? <laughs> Y'all must be working for Dion Warwick and the Psychic Friends. <laughs> well, I was running late for work, so I poured me some coffee to go. And just before I had a flat tire, I spilled it all over my clothes. When the highway patrolman pulled up, I thought that help was on the way. But when he saw that tire tool in my hand, he shot me with pepper spray. Laugh. Well, it's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. It's a bad day. So you better get off my back. You might get cold, cock. If you cross my path, cause it's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. All right. Mm -hmm. This last verse is for everybody that don't like their boss at work. Mm -hmm. When I finally made it to work, I was 15 minutes late. I told my boss about the flat tire, but he fired me anyway. So here I am in the parking lot, just waiting by his Corvette. I'm gonna give him a goodbye <laughs> present that he never will forget. <laughs> Laughing thing, it's, it's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. It's a bad day. <laughs> so you better get off my back. You might get cold cocked. If you cross my path Cause it's a great day For me to whoop somebody's ass Oh yeah! Thank you. Yeah, I like it. Paul Thorne. 
Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right, it all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or Deacon, Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Oh. Tickets on sale now, and they're going fast. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! <laughs> For life, free Prozac, whatever There's you a want. Program for that. <laughs> we are going to fix you. How about it, boy? <laughs> Anything you like? <laughs> I mean, Lord, you, help you, us, you, help us, Lord. You can imagine the twisting that oh would be involved. There's a lot of people who can't even do that. Okay. <laughs> she was Show's very over. limber. <laughs> Show's over. Show's over. No, Everybody else. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> You're so weird. You have no idea. Essential Morning Radio. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7, 24-7. Can I just say that I really love doing this program? Oh, thank you. You know, as a comedian, this is like such a fun, it's actually entertaining and fun to do it, you know? And as a comedian, you, you do a lot of shows. And, uh, you know, like I was, I did a radio program a few weeks ago. And they introduced me as the bad boy of comedy. Mm -hmm. I never said I was the bad boy of anything, nor do I want to be introduced as such. Mm -hmm. they get Only in comedy do you ever hear that. You never hear that in other professions. You never hear it. He's the bad boy of gynecology. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. see, the, see the guy putting on his yeah. gloves with had his fingers his, cut off? Had his finger in a dike. Yeah. <laughs> Greg Hahn is our guest. <laughs> I went out with this one girl. Can I say this? Yeah. Sure. Get a load of this. I'm on a date. I was out with this girl. Right? Here's what she says. It's true. She says, oh, I did something she didn't like. She goes, oh, you just lost some points. <laughs> oh, there's points involved. <laughs> That's a point system that the women have. It's a point system. Men, we don't know what's going on. All we know is it involves points, and all of a sudden, we're down. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 I was doing my impression of her mother. <laughs> She's like, oh, you just lost some points. I'm like, really, how many did I start out with? <laughs> Don't ask any questions. You're just going to lose more points. Well, transfer my account to your younger sister. <laughs> Where are you from, buddy? Patterson, from Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Yeah, boy. you know, small. Sure. Thug downtown. You know, mm -hmm. it's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> small. People were like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? How is she doing? <laughs> I'll come home for dinner. <laughs> Hi, this is Aunt. My 20th. Hey. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Oh, You're yeah. listening to the Electric Amish. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that, Buggy Gilman? <laughs> no? Sounds good. Well, thank uh, you. The Electric Amish will be doing their thing live at the concert. Can you imagine seeing those guys live? Saturday, March 23rd at the State Theater in Logansport. And the fellas are uh, uh, our house band today, uh, uh, gracing us with their presence. If you want to watch this, check out the Bob and Tom YouTube channel. You can see what, exactly how these handsome men look. And uh, right now, a uh, Graber jamming. That's a Southpaw guitar, a Graber, but you're playing it righty style. Is that no, correct? It's fine. <laughs> no, it's all fine. Nothing to see. <laughs> now, we're going to get a song out of these guys in just a few minutes. we got to check back in with the sports page, fellas. You, you follow sports, Graber? Sports? Yeah. Uh, gosh, yeah, we uh, a lot of times we'll go out there and we'll uh, we'll pitch hay. Ooh. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. If you uh, can throw it all the way up in the barn, then you're gonna get supper that night. Oh. <laughs> How about cornhole? You do that? 
<laughs> a little bit when I was young. <laughs> sure. Is that right? Okay. Yep. <laughs> got that springer. Rumor springer. Got that yeah. that, 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 that black that yeah. black jock strap. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, got to be about color with you, Tom. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, we'll talk to you in just a few minutes, fellas. We go back to Chick McGee right now with the sports desk. Stupid world record. Finally, a Ukrainian strongman has broken the Guinness World Record for the heaviest vehicle pulled by the beard. That is right. <laughs> Dimitri, Dimitro Hrunsky. Please get it right. I'm sorry, Dimit Dimitro Harunskaya. Oh, my Ooh. mother is listening, please. <laughs> Achieved the feat after pulling a 5,687-pound minibus with his beard. Mm. His uh, successful attempt beats the previous record of 4,303 pounds. You should see what I can pull with my pubes. <laughs> Old train. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> the 35-year-old also broke two other records the same day, of course, but you know this, Demi. Why, why yes. are you telling me? Demi <laughs> Heaviest vehicle pulled by the neck. <laughs> <laughs> a truck weighing 17,107 pounds. I hope he was walking backwards so that the yeah. rope oh. around his neck. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to try this a different way. Well, my eyes have popped out. Uh, and most cars pulled with the teeth. Uh. Seven with a driver in each car. The total was 19,365 pounds. This guy needs a job. Yeah, he's um, the, he is he is walking backwards. Okay, he's he's got a, it's a, at least a foot long his beard. Oh, wow! And uh, yeah, he's he's, he's kind of leaning back, walking backwards, towing a minivan. <laughs> so, the well, question I, you run through your mind is why? I bet it's uh, I bet it's like any. I mean, you can't, you couldn't pull that sort of weight with just one strand. Of a beard, but if no, you put you the, the whole, whole thing, yeah. the whole thing together, I bet you pretty good. Uh, pretty I've been good to, strength. Been to a beard. circus and you see the lady where they they put the yeah. pony, the ponytail on top of her head she and spins she spins around. Yeah. Spins around. That's yeah. that gets me. Every, me too. Really gives me the willies. I get Here's nervous. A headache. Ugh. I'm afraid oh. I'm going to watch a scalping. Oh. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, rip the top of her head right yes. off. Yes, that must occasionally happen. I mean. <laughs> It's in, in rehearsal or something. <laughs> Somebody has to have gone, well, that wasn't for me. I, <laughs> I ripped my hair out. <laughs> wow. Uh, he also holds the record for the fastest 30-meter carpool yes. with his teeth, 15.63 seconds. Chris, yeah. do you want to know why I do things? Why? Why does any man do anything uh, for love? Oh, is that oh. it? Yes. Hey, listen, uh, so when my car's stuck in a ditch, will you come pull it out with your beard for me? <laughs> <laughs> His friends love that. Okay. Uh, well, thank How you, do you start Dimitri. That? Yeah, that's the thing. Once you, know you get what? it started, it's it's yeah. then. No, I mean, how do you start? Like, I'm going to pull a car with my beard. Oh, Where does that go? <laughs> yeah. I imagine I mean, in, a, in a pub. Really? I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you are can. <laughs> like hell, I won't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's. I'm talking on mine. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, mine's not long enough to tell oh. one, So yeah. Yeah, the thing is, is a foot longer than you. Sure, sure. Yeah. You ever put yeah. beads in it, Josh? I haven't. No. That'd be kind of a cool look. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, like, uh, your beard one day. Al Albano, Lou Albano. Yeah, yeah. they might look good because on the gray yeah. parts. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Cut a little color. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe just grow it in the in the so they drip down from the side, <laughs> like like from oh. the, from the corners. Of, I've seen yes. that. Yeah. You just have two of them hanging down. That's kind of a cool look. Like an orthodox uh, <laughs> something. No, 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 not no. not from the sideburns, but oh. from the beard itself. Right. Hmm. Well, uh, now, that would be interesting. Yeah. Now, well, th thank you, Dimitro Haran Um uh, Coming up, when we come back, it'll be more music from the Electric Amish. And news with Christy coming yes, up. Yes, sir. What do you got, Christy? Give me a... a uh, well, we'll have Me Time for Women. Where do you think that uh, is going to be held? Far away from their significant other. Pretty much. Well, depending, yeah. How about the world's largest chocolate fountain been promised if oh. someone's reelected? And... <laughs> as Tom, yeah, not here though. And as uh, Tom alluded to, what would it be like for a man to experience menstrual pain? We'll have that. We get it, women. Yeah, we experience it. Uh, Holy women yeah. believe. And Archimedes <laughs> death ray. <laughs> and Archimedes was kind of a badass. Yeah. yeah. The death ray? Yeah. The only one bleed song. Do you assume that Alice Cooper's been approached? 
Oh, of course. Buy a tampon commercial? Wouldn't that be... Well, who else? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I don't no, either. No, I don't think he has. <laughs> you don't think? I don't know. I, oh, bet, he I bet he has. Good oh, yeah. God, what? man. Yeah, I bet he has. Why would he have said yes? <laughs> maybe maybe he has a modicum of taste. I don't know about uh, We'll find out. Uh, there's $9 million. Yeah. How's your taste now? <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix. Now, Bob has split the hot dog and put the cheese down the middle of the That's hot good. dog. That's good. That's fine. And now you're going to stuff that in the <laughs> And I actually, I had to surgically remove the end of the hot dog. I circumcised my hot dog. Oh, to yeah. fit in the did you? So it'll fit in the bun. Now, did you? Right. Jimbo that isn't a bun, though. Dog. It's a Twinkie. Now, did it you take? It is the bun, my did friend. You, did you no, take the cream out of the Twinkie? No. No, you don't you want to do nuts? that. Why would you take the cream out of the Twinkie? Why would you take the, the cream out? Oh. I'm going to take the Twinkie and, and shove it in there. <laughs> take it, Twinkie. Oh, oh the Twinkie oh, split open. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, let me see. Hold up your Twinkie. Now, Bob's oh, looking. Oh, boy. How does it taste, Bob? Bob is now taking a bite of the cheese Twinkie <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> Say the secret word. The duck will come down. Give me on it out. Bob, uh, your thoughts? Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> so you've got the, the, the yeah. Twinkie, which is a cake instead of a bread bun. Yeah. Okay. That's actually not bad. <laughs> well, Bob likes it. A little Jake. sweet taste, a little salty taste. A Holy mother of God, that's delicious. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my Have we God. done a calorie estimate on this? Uh, <laughs> I want to make a point that Bob is using a, a hot dog to As play. a pointer. <laughs> As a pointer. <laughs> You have got to try this. Me? Yes. <laughs> no. Just one? Yes. One <laughs> little bite. One little bite. Just one on little here. teeny tiny bite. Do you come want on over here. Your dog come me? over here and buy my hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we can do it tomorrow with, if you want to add bacon. Oh, we can no. Make arrangements. She's eating it now. She's eating it now. Oh. <laughs> Go, baby, go. I hope none of this creamy stuff gets on your cheeks. Now, now Bob, put your, put your hand on the back of her head. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, know. I don't know what that was don't, all about. Don't, don't hold her ears. Oh. Just, uh, You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Can Give me she, more. Let her put it in her own mouth, for God's sake. Oh, oh yeah. Sweet and salty, yummy. Christy, your thoughts, please. Uh, <laughs> could you get near the microphone and it's give not, us your thoughts? It's not bad. Don't talk with your mouth full. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, how about that? Bingo. Huh? Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. After falling off a boat. The National Park Service says the attack occurred Sunday afternoon at the Flamingo Marina in Everglades National Park. Officials said Monday the 68-year-old man capsized his sailboat in the marina basin, attempting to swim to shore with his boat when witnesses saw him go underwater. Park rangers responded, treated a cut to the man's leg. Miami-Dade Fire and Rescue transported him to a hospital in stable condition. Rangers and park biologists investigating and monitoring that suspected 
crocodile. Got to watch out in Florida. Dangerous waters there. And that's a look at things you may have missed. More of the Bob and Tom show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. They've got these places where, oh, I know what it was. It was that story about... Um, Shooting melons at goats. They have many other attractions now and that no goats were ever harmed. It's a great restaurant and they, they have wine. And a winery, a brewery, a cafe, and a market. So they were very If I remember correctly, kind. they have dressing in the bottle. In the bottle. Oh, that's, that's my I've favorite police that. song. They have dressing <laughs> in a bottle, dressing yeah. In. But wow. they also sent us... <laughs> Oh, Screaming Goat? Oh, Screaming it. Goat. Aww. I love the Screaming Goats. <laughs> but <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> Essential Morning Radio. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7, 24-7. Kevin Pollack is our guest. This is something that interests me. You do, for example, you do a tremendous Johnny Carson. What Are, are all of your guys going to die off pretty soon? I mean, you've got, <laughs> is, and is that a concern? Because one of the things about uh, our life now with all these TV channels out there, there's so little commonality. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, you know the, the classic impressions when we were coming up, you know, it was Edward G. Robinson when we were little kids. We're right. Like, who the hell's that? Yeah. And now you've got people in their 30s going, Johnny, who? Well, that's why I had to bring along Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. For the kids <laughs> who love him. <laughs> I'm a huffer at heart. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the Fat Boy Slim video, but I kick it old school. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Have you interviewed Christopher Walken? No. no. Okay, well, here's your chance. And keep in mind, all of his thoughts are completely unconnected. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and ask Christopher Walken anything. All right, what's, the, what's your new project, Christopher? Frankenstein never scared me. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been working on the on the film? Marsupials do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when's its release date? System. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hello. Pat Godwin is in the house. We'll check in with him. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. Ace Cosby right there. I'm Chick McGee. Here's Tom Griswold with our special house band today. The house band, the Electric Amish, ladies and gentlemen, on their way to the State Theater, Logansport, Indiana, Saturday evening, March 23rd. A very rare performance. They're on their uh, huge tour. I believe they have three stops in 2024. Of course, it takes them a long time to get to all these places with their buggies and their equipment and everything. Uh, the horses are all... Uh, out front, but we have a, a special treat coming up from the Electric Amish uh, in just a matter of moments. Uh, thank you very much, fellers. Uh, um, we will uh, begin the, this segment by returning to the sports page because uh, it was a happy new year for the world of the NFL. This is the beginning of the year starting, what, tomorrow morning or That's, this morning? Today is New Year's Eve for the NFL as we say goodbye to 2023 and the Kansas City Chiefs winning the Super Bowl, the champion is dead. Long live the champion coming up this coming season. Most likely the Las Vegas Raiders. I mention the Raiders because <laughs> that's right. Gardner Minshew, Tom's favorite NFL player. Ergo, our favorite <laughs> NFL player. He has signed a new deal with the Las Vegas Raiders. Two years, $25 million. Goes from the Colts to the Raiders. Uh, and what did he get, Tom, all that money? He got the bag. He got he got that bag. That's uh, right. Yeah. That's so what they uh, say. many, many, uh, a lot of activity in the NFL. Kirk Cousins is now an Atlanta Falcons. Saquon Barkley goes from Juan the Giants Barkley. to Juan the Barkley. Eagles. That's right, the Eagles. Uh, Brian Burns, the Panthers to the Giants. Uh, the Washington football team signs Austin Eckler, a lot, and a lot of movement expected the rest of the week. So, mm. yeah, well, so, but I'm just sorry to Get see. Get comfortable. I, I'm a big Gardner Minshew fan, yeah. and we have been since he was a Jaguar. Sure. And uh, Mick Jaguar, 
of course, uh, famously uh, did the uh, Gardner Minshew song, and I, I can't believe it. If, if Is I'm, that right? I'm seeing the big screen. It looks like uh, Mick Jaguar has uh, joined the Electric Amish. I've heard the news. Uh, the song version 65. <laughs> glad to do it. Uh, right. <laughs> glad so, to do it. I, some pep pills. I'm all ready to go. Okay, you're jabbing with the Amish fellers. Yeah. Uh, I never oh, this met is them before. Well, uh, yeah. let's hear this uh, uh, original no, song. I just want to make sure you realize you're not getting a, a cut of the pay. All right. All right. <laughs> all right Don't you mean a cut of the work. hay? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Are you going ready? ready for what, Ready Mr. for this. One, two, three, four. All right. Woo! Oh, they sound good, Tom. In the studio back there. Jacksonville to Philly, then Philly on to Indy, Gardner Minshew. <laughs> now he's playing for Las Vegas for $25 million in wages, Gardner Minshew. <laughs> Sing it along with me if you will. Gardner Minshew. Naked in the locker room, mustache like a broom, Gardner Minshew. He's got to beat a man to start with a jockstrap king as heart. God no Who's hair short in front? The back is long. <laughs> That's right. Who will save the Raiders when things go wrong? That's why we sing this song. Woo! Hot one, two. Hey, you used to live in a hippie van. I saw it on Instagram. Now the Raider fans are dying to meet you. Slot machine meets sex machine. Razzle dazzles on your team. Gonna mention. All right. <laughs> 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 God, no. Yay! I hurt my arm. <laughs> I don't know how it's possible, but that song just keeps getting better and better. Uh, Mick Jaguar. Uh, 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 with, uh, with the electric I, I never Amish. Heard of, never heard of Gardner Minshew. Never heard of the Rolling Stones. Never heard of, uh, what is it, Mick Jaguar? <laughs> I'm not hearing you did a great job. Well, dang, I thought it was an original tune that you were trying to learn us up on. Thank you so much for backing us. Wow. <laughs> and this is from uh, this past season. Gardner Minshew uh, played the his new team, the Raiders. Uh, the Colts played the Raiders. And uh, Max Crosby had it uh, in for Gardner Minshew. It was calling him... Uh, Little ass boy on the field, and Gardner tried to explain to a teammate on the sidelines that he's not a little ass boy. And uh, here's what it sounded like listen closely, you'll hear Max Crosby yelling, Little ass boy, here we go. Little ass boy. Little ass boy. Little ass boy. Dude, Max Crosby is so damn angry. <laughs> Bro, he oh, just. I know, right? He just calls, he keeps calling everybody little ass boy. <laughs> hey, little ass boy. Right. I'm like, I'm little out here, but not always. <laughs> <laughs> How can you not love that guy? Uh, Gardner Minshew, a Raider, Ace's favorite team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ace, we have to send you to Vegas to go to see the see um, see him play. Uh, uh, that, hey, Tom. Yes, sir. It doesn't seem like much of a put down to somebody. I, people call me a fat ass. That hurts. But little ass boy. Yeah. Oh, I thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've been trimming down. Thank you for noticing. Oh, producing. Okay. Do we know what uh, Gardner? What, what kind of stuff is Gardner growing anyway? Oh. oh. Uh, mm. uh, the, the normal things: snap peas, asparagus, carrots, mm. a little weed. Yeah, variety of herbs. <laughs> yeah. and, and he's and he's Gardner Minshew the second. Is that correct? Uh, oh, old man Minshew's boy. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. I know who you're talking about yeah. now. All right. <laughs> but their first name is something like Aloysius or something. Yeah, no, and, and the expression, Graber, is he got the bag. Have you ever gotten a bag of anything? 
Oh, I've gotten lots of bags of things in the past, Tom. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, bag of flour, bag of sugar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bag of, bag of sorghum. A bag of sorghum. Yeah. Oh, well. Bag a of bag of sorghum. Yeah, That's right. Uh, a bag of sorghum. Yeah, you got to make sure it doesn't leak. <laughs> oh, you don't want to yeah. double bag that thing. Well, yeah. now, uh, well, you don't want a bag of sorghum leaking. Speaking We're of double do baggers, a, Pat. Uh, <laughs> have you ever? Yeah, I, I've had to double bag a couple. Yeah. Of uh, oh, uh, well, now, fellas, you take a short break. We're going to come back and get another song out of the Electric Amish. They're going to be know. in Logansport, Indiana, Saturday, March 23rd at the State Theater. That's hey, going to be a big that, show. Yes. That beard, what was the beard pulling thing? Yeah, that was a guy in uh, Eastern Europe, I believe. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what we always say? Lady, don't pull my beard. I know what I'm doing. Oh, oh. wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> There you uh, go. That's nice. Ooh. Well, thank you, fellas. We'll check in with Christy Lee at the news desk. What have you got? Male office workers at a Japanese telecom firm were subjected to Fuck. simulated menstrual pain in order to better understand their female colleagues. Oh, this is ridiculous. For the event at EXEO Group in Tokyo, uh, it took place ahead of International Women's Day. Men donned a so-called Puranoid device. EXEO is a subsidiary of EXEIO. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, okay, maybe not. The that's, uh, that's old McDonald's. Boy. Yeah, old yeah. McDonald's. Yeah. Brilliant with money. S- Sakiyuki McDonald in Tokyo. That's him. EXEIO. The Puranoid. Had a dog, you know. He did. Yeah, B I N G O. No kidding. Yeah. Huh. Mm. The Puranoid device that sent electric signals via pads placed on the lower stomach induced a cramping sensation after using said device 26 year old Mayasa Shibaski said Mayasa knows better <laughs> Am I dry? It's, no, it's Mayasa a, Shiba, Shibasaki yeah. said yeah, quote I couldn't move it hurt to the point where I couldn't stand he added quote I now understand women have to work while fighting this pain every month Whatever. for those of you who don't know companies in Japan are <laughs> legally required to allow women to take menstrual leave that's fine however there's no requirement for the time off to be paid and surveys show Around half of female workers yeah, in never fact, take do it. Do us the favor to go ahead and take that time off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Well, <laughs> it's just silly. We know that it's miserable. Yeah. You don't have to. I and think it's, this is this is kind of like kind of like miserable. the thing where they have the guys wear the simulated pregnancy belt. Sure. That's also so very silly. so you can see what it's like. Mm-hmm. So you wouldn't want to do this, Josh. Did no, I, women shouldn't complain. You ha- you are you. Have the privilege of having our babies. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. oh, hang on. I, uh, can you we, the we get that? Eh? I want to get that exact quote so I can put it on your gravestone. Have our babies. <laughs> it's a privilege to know uh-huh. that you are carrying on our names. I have a question. <laughs> when, when the when the men wear the simulated belt that makes them unbelievable, makes them feel like they're having a menstrual period. Uh-huh. Do they crave more chocolate? <laughs> Is there any? You know, I didn't know that was a thing. Isn't it? So... And there's actual science behind it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, absolutely. Did you? Now, did you? In, in your particular case of your own human body yes did you have any peculiar or uh special uh cravings while you were in the red no, zone if you no, will i really didn't. Or, or when you were pregnant did you have any cravings oh yeah um it, there's a place called steak and shake oh sure. my god a place you I mean would, the mecca <laughs> i would have steak and shake shakes every single day when i left here any wow. particular every, chocolate 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 there. shakes no, I have. From wow. Steak and Shake were the thing I craved. Yeah. And, and early it was lemonade, really tart lemonade. That's interesting. Yeah. Can you imagine a living thing moving around in It's unbelievable. It's body? awesome. I would love to. Have, if I could, I would have had more. I love I, I would like to. And then coming out the head of your penis. Loved being pregnant. <laughs> well, well again, that would be That would be. Uh, uh, woo! I honestly loved being pregnant. I would like. I think I would be really good. And all my, you know, my joking aside. Right. With a pregnant woman. In fact, I am offering my services for husbands. If you don't want to put up with your pregnant wife, <laughs> I will do it. I think I'd be really good at it. Oh, right? I think yes. you would be too. Yeah. You're I real. like being at somebody's beck and call for a little bit. Do you? For know? a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For a little bit, but then. Nine months is enough. Okay. And thank goodness that just happens to be the amount of time it takes for yeah. a woman. Mm. To have a baby. Would that, w- would that break your record? <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, no. no. Wow. <laughs> But 
Of course. Sorry. But close. This is a comedy it would, show. It would, it would be, <laughs> it would be hey, close. Uh, it is I, I have a real quick question hey, for Christy. Hey, you guys know it's a new new year in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear about this? Because wow. I, know, I just thought of something. This, this is, I, I have yes. a, a, a truism I just thought of. Uh, Chick and I, I, I think probably more so than anybody else in the room, we tend to think in, in terms of advertising slogans all the time. Oh, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. You were talking about earlier, did... Would, did the tampon people ever go to Alice Cooper and say, yeah. can we have the song Only Women Bleed? Uh, but if men had periods, there would be a tampon called the Red Zone. Oh, where, sure. Where, oh, where yeah. They could, yeah. Where they could, they could tie in their love of football <laughs> yeah. to the NFL, their periods. The NFL yeah. Red Zone brought to you by the Red Zone. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. No, it's the blessed. tampon that'll take you that last 20 yards, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? <God. laughs> what the hell just it's happened? It's real aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's an aggressive ad. Sure, we do sure. Uh, coming My up favorite thing about that, and this is going to be controversial, oh. but I heard that if men had to have abortions, you could get them at ATMs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, yeah. yeah. Somebody making a joke about how. The old, who was it? I forget the quote. Um, I'll think of it in a minute. But okay. in the Satirical meantime, commentary on the. Yes. Yeah, um, so. uh, we have Chick McGee across the way. I can see him. <laughs> and uh, uh, Chick, sure. Raycon, everyday ah. earbuds. That's what I'm here to tell you about. Raycons are known for their sound quality and their advanced audio features and Raycon's optimized gel tips that fit every ear ever made. Maybe you're out walking the dog or working out or chatting on the phone. You can do it all from your Raycon earbuds. And remember, evidently this is a big deal. Raycon doesn't see anything big about this. They've always worked it this way. Raycon earbuds stay in your ears. And they also have seamless Bluetooth Sinking and eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. You don't have to worry about whether Raycons are up for the task. You know they are. Plus, you can enjoy features like their easy-to-use earbud tap functions, noise isolation, and Raycons awareness mode. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom to get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. 20% off and free shipping. Just go to buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up, the Electric Amish. Also coming up, uh, LSD in the news in a positive way. Uh, and uh, ladies, where's your special place for me time? Mm. We're going to find out. And comedian Tom Papa. I want to remind you real quick, you've got a very special event coming to Charleston, West Virginia. Rock 105 is going to be bringing us in for a special live show on the morning of April 5th. It's a Friday. Hope you can be there. Then a special live comedy show coming up. And we're going to have a little something special at that comedy show. Details on that coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is comedian Rob Haney, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus... Don't forget. You see the word "don't forget"? <laughs> no, but it's all. But it's like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's just like comedy don't show. Miss amazing Start is a over. wrong word. Hey, Charleston, it's the Bob and Tom Show. That's right, and our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Speech. <laughs> Speech. Speechery. One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest, Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 
all hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! Now remember, we weren't prepared to do this. We're completely doing this. That's why, doing this that's why I'm stalling. G L O R I A Glory. That's not uh, Clint Black Sabbath. No. Okay. Now, how do you introduce Mr. Sabbath? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't done this in 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you just take certain lyrics of some songs and put them with another song. I see. Like uh, he's going to play Born to Be Wild. And then I'll tell you about a man named Jed. <laughs> Poor mountaineer, yeah. Barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food, yeah. Up from the ground come a bubbling crew. Black gold Texas tea. Sweet tea. <laughs> Nothing like sweet tea. Huh? Try the, I like drinking sweet tea. <laughs> That's nice. Try the other. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the other ones. Whichever one you want to do. How about... Um... Your cheating heart <laughs> will make you <laughs> You'll try and try and try to sleep, <laughs> but sleep won't come the whole day through. Your cheating heart will tell on you. Oh, Lord, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is uh, this is uh, James Sibley as Clint Black Sabbath. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Generals gathered in their masses, <laughs> just like witches at black masses. Uh, evil minds that plot destruction. Sorcerer of death construction <laughs> in the field of bodies burning <laughs> as the war machine keeps turning. <laughs> death and hatred to mankind, nice. poisoning their brainwashed mind. Oh Lord, yeah. <laughs> oh Lord, right, yeah. that's good enough. <laughs> oh Lord, yeah. Oh Lord, yeah. Oh Lord, yeah. Uh, Clint Black Sabbath. Black very Sabbath. Inter very interesting. That's great. It makes it a lot. I uh, love that. The uh, Steppenwolf thing, the Born to Be Wild. You should do that if you ever go karaoke. Uh, I got to do that one. Yeah, do that. You can sing Beverly Hills. And y'all, you've heard the uh, Purple Haze Green Acres thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a great. That's I love doing. Oh, wait, well, I haven't heard. I, that. Haven't I guess heard that, that that always uh, makes the everybody words from happy. Green Acres fit great. <laughs> is the place to be <laughs> farm living is the life of me <laughs> land spread now so far and wide keep manhattan just give me that countryside <laughs> <laughs> good morning sunshine bob and tom hey welcome back to the bob and tom show that's right, you're hearing in the background the Electric Amish. They're our house band today. Best. A tribute to one of the finest blind musicians of all time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Roy Orbis. <laughs> did, you, did you think he was blind? I, as a kid, I totally thought he was I blind. I did too, because yeah. he wore sunglasses yeah, yeah. all the time. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Nice shades. Now, you'll notice that Barry... Goodman from the Electric Amish also wears sunglasses all the time. Yeah. Mm. Barry, are you blind? But? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't, I, I, deaf. I didn't ask if you were deaf. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Either way, Tom, I missed the stop. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, it's okay. Um, and and um, he's not blind, but he got kicked by a mule. Oh, oh he did. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my gosh, we were so worried about that mule hoof. We had to. <laughs> Really take it to the vet, take a look at it. Is that where that Sam Kennison quote came from? Which one? The sun never sets on the mule. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know that it was, but it is now. Now, um, uh, fellas, we have a time for a song here. Uh, I know that you're on tour. Uh, your next stop is... Um, March 23rd at uh, the State Theater in Logansport, the Electric Amish Live. But could you play one of your songs for us right now? Uh, yeah, we can. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know if you guys ever uh, have breakfast around here. Oh, uh -huh. um, yeah. But uh, we're going to sing a song about Amish breakfast. It is not um, the delicious treat you might oh. eat, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. Hey, Christy. Yes. I know you can howl like a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> can you howl like a wolf? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Take a well-deserved break. We're going to bring you back in just a few minutes. Man, you guys give a lot of breaks around here, you lazy son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you got to watch that, 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 that bad mouth on that uh, berry. Uh, berry yeah. It's the second time I'm, in a row, I think. Uh, I don't know what to do with him. We tried washing his mouth out with soap, and he liked it. Oh, okay. Wow. Now, uh, thanks, fellas. I love that soap. <laughs> uh, now, um, uh, we return to the uh, news desk with Christy Lee. Coming up, by the way, Tom Papa. Also, I'll remind you, we've got a, uh, something cool. Uh, I mentioned our uh, things in... Charleston, uh, West Virginia, coming up on April 5th. On March 28th, a Thursday, we'll be live uh, starting at 6 o'clock at Nation Kitchen and Bar in the Bet GM, excuse me, the Bet MGM Sportsbook at the Banks. We'll be uh, right there in front of uh, the Great American Ballpark for opening day. Admission is free, space is limited. 
Uh, special thanks to 92.5 The Fox. So once again, that's Thursday, March 28th, starting at 6. Start your day early with us again. The tradition continues, opening day broadcast from Cincinnati. But right now, there's Christy Lee. What's going on? A new survey out there reveals half of women consider this particular place as their me time place. What do you think it would be? The bathtub? Close. Uh, the bathroom. Close. The shower. Oh, okay. Oh. 1,000 adult women was conducted on behalf of Olay, the soap manufacturer, found 50% of women think of their showers as me time. Respondents said that during their showers, they, quote, allow random thoughts to roam. Uh-oh. Reflect on their past day or the day ahead. Oh, yeah. Explore their body. <laughs> <laughs> touching, touching, touching. Oh, touching. there's nothing like a nice shower massage. Uh, one in six <laughs> have even imagined themselves as the triumphant winner of a past argument while in the shower. <laughs> That's uh, weird. Boy, that is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Nearly 70% said they feel they can do anything after a great shower, enjoying a confidence boost that lasts hours. Wow. 80% of the women polled said they are in need of more personal time. Sure, I bet. Yeah, yeah. It's very important. Have you ever gotten into the shower and said, boy, this was a bad idea? Showers are great. Yeah. I, I love a good shower. Showers yeah. always, always make you feel better. Yes. Yeah. yeah I always. used to, when I was working for that ad agency, I remember I... Well, it was not a good idea. I had this yeah. idea. Because uh, you're right. It's always fantastic. And I yeah. thought of, uh, we were trying to sell uh, shower heads, and I wrote an ad. The <laughs> slogan was, a good shower is golden. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. There may have been some problems with right. getting yeah. that. They didn't care for that. No. No, no, they... <laughs> there are no bad ideas. Yeah, though well, there are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, for guys, I think this, there'd be a different answer here. What, what do you think me time would be for a guy? What do you think? Uh, in front of the TV, maybe? The garage um, for me. Garage? I always find something to tinker around with and do and think. Right. And That's a good answer. And, and, I, I've, I've uh, spent several hours in my garage since I've been home for the last 48 hours. Do you have a sofa in there? Uh, turn it into a man no, cave? I, I don't. I, I do things. I, yeah. I, re I bought some of those uh, hookless fishing lures where I can just practice my flipping. Oh, or, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My neighbors gotcha. have to think I've been... Sometimes they just go in between the houses and just cast. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's, um... Do you have a target? Do you set a yeah, target? Yeah, in there? my head, I have uh, targets. Or oh, sometimes, okay. yeah, when I'm practicing my flipping, I, I have buckets. It's excruciatingly yeah. sad. No, it's no, awesome. No, it's, it's fun. Yeah. Okay. Can I catch a chipmunk? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, your me time, Chick, is... Uh... Um, I'm uh, I'm working on the uh, the home studio right now. I'm getting stuff uh, cleared out of there. So ah, I, that's kind of become my me time. You just think about whatever and yeah, yeah. I think for some guys, they sit down on the toilet and sit and, there for yeah. the toilet. Yeah, not yeah. Me, but yeah. yeah I right. like the toilet until your legs go to sleep. Oh yeah. Do you ever have your legs go to sleep no, on the toilet? I'm no. not a, almost. I well, sleep. you and I don't have an ass, so it happens yeah, right. almost immediately. Right. You don't do the uh, and get right. What? <laughs> you know, you don't make a quick work. You you do make quick work of everything. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't linger. I'm just curious. Yeah. Driving I'd, in your car is not good me time. Yeah, that is good yeah, me time. It is. Yeah, that's, that's good favorite. me time. Yeah. yeah. But the shower is even, you don't have uh, to, you can. It's so funny you bring this up because I literally got in the shower the other day and I went, God, this is the best ever. Yeah, they Showers are the best. You have one of those uh, shower massagers? Chris? I do not. You do mm. not? No, I do not. Mm. I'm not ashamed to admit that's where I discovered that. I think Whoa. a lot of women do, yeah. <laughs> the shower massage. There is no oh, shame. Yeah. There is no shame there. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a hell of a thing. Hell of a thing. That's a hell of a thing. <laughs> Probably a better spot than, say, discovering it, you know, in the produce aisle at Kroger. True. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although there are many items. Yeah, man, my, man, that was my carrot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's let's uh, check back in with the electronics. I think we can get the satellite to work again, and we'll find the electric. <gasps> there they are. Is that right? That. The electric Amish are in the other building over there. Hey, fellas. Hello, uh, God. Uh, <laughs> it's not just us again. Uh, oh, do you, you, you want to do another tune for us? Do you have one in mind? Oh, heck yeah. We're going to um, dedicate this to uh, Mr. Ace Cosby. <laughs> Is that right? Yep. This next one goes out to Ace because I know yeah, he likes them Raiders uh, that dress in black and white, and uh, we uh, obviously totally respect that. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Well, I'm 14 and I am done with school. You drive your cars, we'll drive our buggies. You earn your pay in smelly factories. 
I make a fortune selling quilts and cheese. You try to cause we we'll drop our buggies. You keep on sinning, and we'll keep on grinning. I wanna dress in black goodbyes. <laughs> and work a hard all day. I wanna dress in black goodbyes. And work a hard all day. Stay right here and finish all my chores. You drive the cars, we'll drive our buggies. Hold on, condoms cause a sudden death. You drive the cars, we'll drive our buggies. Hold on, condoms cause a sudden disease. The only thing I ever caught was fleas. <laughs> you drive the cars, we'll drive our buggies. We keep on churning, you keep on burning. Electric Amish here in the Bob and Tom program. For the best, but you got stuck with us. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> A nice tribute. Uh, dedicated to Ace. I pity any band who has to dress up to get on stage. Yeah. 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 Can you imagine gluing on makeup and all that? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, costume. Uh, thank you, fellas. Uh, we are uh, coming up, uh, comedian Tom Papa, but right now we return to the uh, news desk with Christy Lee. What else you got? A science project conducted by a 13-year-old boy shows that the Archimedes death ray may have been possible. Oh. Often called the father of mathematics, Archimedes was an ancient Greek inventor who was fabled to have created a death ray made up of mirrors in order to focus and aim sunlight on a target. Historical writings suggested that Archimedes used burning mirrors to set ships on fire. According to CNN, Ontario teen Brendan Seener has suggested that the contraption was plausible. After creating a tiny version of the death ray using four small concave mirrors and a heat lamp, he believes the use of the sun's rays and a mirror would easily cause combustion. I would have thought it would have. Yeah, yeah, I would have too. I didn't think it was. In fact, I thought it did. Yeah. They, um, I forget what show it was. They re they recreated this. Mythbusters? On Mythbusters, that's right. And they couldn't get it to happen. And I'm trying to think, wasn't it the most recent Indiana Jones movie? I didn't see it. They, oh, yeah, there is they, a... they go into a time warp and they see Archimedes. Yeah. Hmm. Actually doing it. This young man, Senior, has since won two gold medals and an award for his research, which was also published as part of the study. So That's congratulations to him. Archimedes' death rate. When you were a kid, did you ever do the uh, uh, magnifying glass? With oh. death, death ray on an ant? Yeah. It, I mean, it was. It did work. No kidding. Yeah. That was, that was a, did it make uh, you a, feel superior, did it? No. I, I saw it like on a cartoon or something, or and there was like a famous far side also that did it. And I was like, I'll give this a shot. And I felt bad after I, Aww. yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, that thing just withered so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it, burned, it almost like it burned alive. Yeah, for sure. Oh. <laughs> oh. So it's yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a valuable lesson. And we did it with a leaf. We caught a leaf on fire with a magnifying glass. Did oh, you really? Yeah. Oh. So the notion is that Archimedes had these giant mirrors and they focused them on the, pl on the boats ships. and yeah. set their sails on fire. The old death ray. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, nice to know that uh, all that STEM money is going to help kids make death machines. Uh, but uh, good for you, son. <laughs> no, um, uh, coming up, what have you got, Christy? We have a lot of old things. We have old bread. We have old movies. We have old piercings. And we have old lipstick. All <laughs> like really mm. old. Wow. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much. Now, um, uh, also coming up, comedian Tom Papa. And uh, we're coming up right now, it's uh, Chick McGee talking about... Uh, Simply Safe, the design it yourself, do it yourself. Home security system experts and customers love Simply Safe for their comprehensive protection. Simply Safe just named best home security system of 2024 by U.S. News and World Report and recognized as best customer service in home security by Newsweek. Simply Safe advanced technology protects every room, window, and door of your home. And high-definition cameras keep watch for 
suspicious activity inside and out 24-7. Backed by professional monitoring around the clock for less than a dollar a day. No long-term contract ever. You'll get the emergency response you need at around half the cost of traditional home security. And it's easy to install the system yourself or you can have the professionals at Simply Safe do it for you. Simply Safe 60 day risk free trial. If you don't love yours, return it for a full refund. Protect your home today. The Bob and Tom Show listeners get a special 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Uh, also, uh, coming up, we have uh, Chocolate Fountain News. And uh, something really interesting from the Stone Age in the news. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at... Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. As you're leaving, blow Ooh, a kiss right now. Cause if you're gonna leave me, honey, I will surely miss the way you blow me. Blow me a kiss. Merci, madame, voila, le bearded clam. Your biscuit, your beavage, I see your cooter cleavage. Your monkey, your muffin. with tea and day you say you're straight but you're not by how will you know until you try the thought of nookie makes you sick just hold your nose and take a lick i wanna be bob what more can i say i would smoke and drink and play golf every day I'd have a lady for a caddy she could hold my balls while I play I wanna be Bob we wanna be Bob His name is Richard, but they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a big dick smoker.
You can tell oh, you that. Yeah, that's really oh, cool. come on. That's, that's the greatest a, three ring circus I ever saw. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24 7. Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life, and I worked the state fair. We were stupid before stupid was cool. At Nike, we know that to get a job done, you need the right shoe. Michael Jordan doesn't step on the court without his Nike Air Jordans. And Jose Impalero doesn't <laughs> step into the streets of Pamplona without his Air Toro. <laughs> Air Toro. Once you strap on these bright red steer hides of potters, you'll be ready to run for your life. Yes, hello. This is Jose Impalero. You know, when I put on my Air Toros, I feel like I can... People would walk over you to get this shoe. Air Toros. Hemingway may have worn khakis, but he never got to wear Air Toros. Plenty of other famous people love their Air Toros. People like Gore Vidal, Bruce Hornsby, Red Skelton, and the Chicago Bulls. So, hoof it on over to your favorite shoe store, Air Toros. <laughs> Toro, Toro. <laughs> Air Toro, just do it. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Also joining us uh, in the studio, comedian John Bazaar. Yeah. Well, I, I, I find that now that I, I need a woman, I mean, uh, uh, integrity, strength of character, honesty, <laughs> but really the most important thing, got to have a big ass. I need, uh -huh. I may be outside the pale on this one, judging by all the magazine covers I see, mm. but I'm done with these ectoskeletal, wafer-thin, <laughs> rice cake chomping chicks with the uh -huh. Ally McBeal arms and those heroin-looking legs. Yeah. <laughs> Even the three little pigs knew you don't build something out of sticks if you're going to spend any time inside. <laughs> <laughs> I babysat a cat a couple weeks ago. No, it went in the show. Oh, he. Then he started uh, picking his out of his litter box and dropping him in the middle of the living room floor. <laughs> oh, this is a protest. <laughs> It did seem like some sort of action. Cats oh, are, that's funny. you know, jerks, basically. <laughs> Candy. Cats are jerks. <laughs> Hello, this is comedian John Evans, the High Plains thrifter. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. That's the electric Amish. They're our house band this morning. They are rocking it. There you go. Yes. And uh, the Amish are going to be on tour. It's a short tour, as far as I know, uh, but it'll be including the Logan Sports Famous State Theater Saturday, March 23rd. So look forward to seeing the Amish, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, fellas. We're going to get a song out of you in just a few minutes. I thought that was a song. Oh, that, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. One yeah. that has words, Technically. words to it. Oh, yeah, that'd be even funnier than the instrumental. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Is an uh, instrumental considered a song? I think so. Yeah, uh, back back in the day, yeah, uh, uh, like Mozart and the rest of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, they figured those were songs. Okay, right? Yeah, there's, Mozart. A whole, there's a whole argument about that. Let's just say yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Speaking even of, though Mozart was deaf, you know, I mean, he would <laughs> he'd really bang in that piano. And, <laughs> yeah, he was pretty good. Yeah. Crack me up. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of old time things, a long lost silent film was found in an Omaha parking lot of all places. Filmmaker Gary Huggins told WOWT... Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> that, he <tra> oh. <laughs> ...that he traveled to Omaha after an auction house had acquired some films from a distributor that had gone out of business. During the auction, he spotted an old carton of films that he purchased for $20 and discovered that one of the reels was a master copy of the Clara Bow film called The Pill Pounder. A movie that has likely not been seen for the better part of a century. That's wasn't crazy. there a, yeah. Wasn't there a famous uh, porn star, Phil Pounder? 
Uh, are you, I mean, you look serious when you're asking that. I, <laughs> you sold the hell out of it, I can tell you that. The I Phil you. Pounder in Phil Pounder. Yeah. The film is now being restored, and when it re-premieres next month at the San Francisco Silent Film Festival, it will be the first time it's been shown on the big screen in 101 years. That's wild. Man, Clara Bow was... A, the like gigantic first star of oh, yeah. motion pictures. Hmm. Darling little thing. Yes. Yes. But may, may, I think America's Sweetheart was what she was known as. Uh huh? Is it, I'm sorry, and it's called The Pill Pounder? Pounder. The Pill I'm Pounder. I'm guessing that's a mortar and pestle uh, reference. You think she was a pharmacist? Uh, maybe an apothecary of some sort. <laughs> oh. It does have kind of she's a chemist. Not, she's, yes. not, she's not a distraught housewife. I in don't Beverly think so, yeah. <laughs> she had geriatric porn sound. <laughs> the pill pounder. All right. There's your pills. Now here's me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I tell you, did you take your Viagra clearance? Uh, take one of me and call uh, me again. Ready to oh, rock. Yeah. I sorghumed all up. <laughs> Pound me. Huh? Sorghum re rears its ugly head well, again. Well, in honor of our guests. Yeah. Uh, Archaeologists have discovered one of the earliest examples of Bronze Age lipstick. According to the new study, the lipstick was recovered in the Iranian city of Duraft after a flood forced artifacts to surface from Bronze Age cemeteries. Hmm. Uh, radiocarbon dating of the bright red pigment contained within the small stone vial revealed that the makeup was 4,000 years old. Researchers noted that the pigment, quote, bears a striking resemblance to the recipes of contemporary lipsticks. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Oh, cool. You know what that radiocarbon dating sounds like? Hmm. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Yeah, we'll be right back with this date in just a second. Oh, it looks like 4,000 years. <laughs> this dating to, brought to you by... Uh, cave girls just want to have fun. That's right. Uh, coming oh, up. Boy. And I tell you what, I got a question coming for you. Wait, yeah. till he gets, wait till he gets a load of this loincloth, guys. Is that ancient lipstick? Or is your ancient dog a little bit horny, if you know what I mean? Oh, no. <laughs> got the old lipstick penis, buddy. Uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had a male dog, Christy? I have a male dog, oh, the, Leo. The, the, you know what I'm talking about. You yes. see the, uh, the peen? Leo, Leo. Only twice in the six no years kidding. I've had them. Yeah. 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 I, I, I won't uh, I won't I won't have a boy dog. I won't Yeah, that's won't, too won't, gross. I won't do it. This is the only boy dog I've ever had, but he's a good boy. Would you have a boy dog? Oh, I've got have one a boy dog. Right now, two girls and a boy. What's his name? Um uh, which one? The the, the boy, boy dog? The boy dog. Because I've got Hattie. That's a girl. That's, that's and and, and not Maisie. What I asked. That's Mr. A girl. Fletcher. Mr. Fletcher. Mr. Fletcher. Mr. Fletcher. All right. Yeah. You Mr. call Fletcher. him Fletcher. Mr. Fletcher, by the way. No, no, we, we call him uh, Fletcher. He uh he's very formal. Is he? Does if, he wear a tie? If dogs could talk, he he would choose not to. Mm. Mm. He's very uh, lofty. Does Mr. Felcher need a leash? Mr. Mr. Fletcher. <laughs> not oh, Felcher. Fletcher. Mr. Whatever. Felcher would be a whole different thing. That's a whole different kind of red lips. <laughs> Is that a true thing, Felching? Yeah. And that, I'm sure it exists. That actually yeah. happens. Somebody's what is done it? it. You put weasels in your pants. What? And, and tie up. Oh, that's not the felching that's I was aware the, of. Oh. oh. Isn't that right? Uh, yeah, I think there's two. I think that you, I think you're both right. Oh, boy. Oh, well, you're talking about a snowball, right? Uh, the snow, it's the felching? first half of a snowball. Yeah, yes. yeah, right. Okay, yeah. no need to pursue it. Well, so, kind of. So this is, they were, they were talking about, this is the Bronze Age. You suck mm -hmm. it right out. And they said a, a cemetery was washed out. <laughs> So yes. Was this this was in the caskets then? Apparently. Yeah. Oh, I love this joke when a no, cemetery no. gets washed out. <laughs> no, it's not. A, I'm... Remember when the airplane crashed in the cemetery? There were six thousand dead or something, right? Wow. Is that... What? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing over there? Well, I like when the plane the... crashed in the cemetery, you know. And there... <laughs> I like when you just toss yeah, your I hand up. Yes. Yeah, you know they. They, <laughs> they were already there. I think. I think the joke is. That... Matt, you're with me. <laughs> yeah, the joke is the plane crashed into the cemetery. They recovered six thousand bodies. <laughs> yeah. plane. It was a very big plane. Okay. They were all. They were already. There they are. Dead. Is the lipstick uh, primarily animal fat? I don't know. Um... This is the Bronze Age. They, of course, developed bronzer. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> we, all, we all know that. Everybody had beautiful skin yeah, back in right, the Bronze right. Age. Yeah. Um, yeah, did you see it? Did you, I'll see the other story about the Stone Age. Archaeologists have discovered the Stone Age facial piercings found near the wearer's skulls in Turkey. Hmm. A recent analysis of excavations at the archaeological site of 
Boncuclu Tarlar. I like everything. Ha I like archaeological. Archaeological. Like archaeological. <laughs> Boncuclu Tarlar. Boncuclu Tarlar. Tarlar revealed burials in which adornments for piercings were found placed near grave occupants' ears and mouths. If you're looking for me in Cincinnati or Charleston, West Virginia, our upcoming road tours, yes. I'm going to be in the hotel as Barcu Tarlar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got your road name. That's how I'm going to be registered. While there is existing research on prehistoric personal adornment, this discovery marks the first time facial piercings in Neolithic people from southwestern Asia have been directly linked to the body parts they were worn in. That's interesting. Yeah. So it just proves, uh, facial piercings that many years ago, it proves the existence of baristas. Uh, <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> even in, I, I'm sorry, I, I might want to go on record as saying I don't get that. I know you don't. You don't yeah. think any look good? What are you talking about? Facial I, piercings. I oh. think some can look real cool and and sexy. I don't. I just. I, I don't know. The nose thing, like I, it's got like a that can be cute. Yeah. Booger hanging from your. Now the nose, like the little diamond or whatever on what, the side of the nostril, I think is really cool. Do you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you have that and you plug your nostrils and sneeze, does it shoot out the side? If you take the piercing out, maybe. <laughs> like a blowhole. <laughs> Let me ask you, if you're in a, you go, go to a restaurant, you're right. sitting there and you're, of course, not looking at the menu. You're going to talk to the server. You always, Check. a big, right. big extrapolated conversation. A botherer, yeah. Yeah, you bother the <laughs> server. And what if they have a piercing in their nose? Act just, like Josh is your server. Just had that yesterday. I had a very nice conversation. Mm. Oh, is that right? Man and, or woman? Uh, woman. Okay. And how did that go? No, just like, no I, just, I just thought she'd be a lot more attractive if she didn't have the four spears in her nose. Did you tell her that? No, no, no. I kept it to myself. Oh, mm. but what? you wanted to tell her, What didn't did you? you tell her? Did Hey, that's an interesting piercing or something like that. No, I suggested she take uh, uh, a certain type of uh, eye vitamins. What? <laughs> we got to do a what? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, you can, can only imagine. <laughs> do, do, were her eyes dry or red? No, no, no. We, she had uh, very blue eyes, and oh. uh, my eye doctor has advised me to take Occuvite uh, to prevent macular <laughs> degeneration. Rather <laughs> elaborate. We have to take a break. Uh, we'll that get back. Poor, She's poor, crying somewhere. Yeah, yes. poor, poor woman. Yes. Eye vitamins. Uh, uh, no crotch you know piercings. Yeah. I'll, I'll be eye right vitamins. back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go to bobandtom.com. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guests. Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus. Do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right, it all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston or Deacon, Come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show comedy tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold. All hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale now and they're going fast. Get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! <laughs> Hi, he's Bob, I'm Bob, and he's Tom, and I'm Tom. <laughs> to conquer and win, we're gonna be in the Super Bowl, yeah. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, Q95 with Luciano Gaspacho in praise of the Indianapolis Colts. In a great praise. Phenomenal. Here's to a big Super Bowl win this next and, year. Uh, we hope that you get to sing the national anthem at the Indy 500 next year, Luciano. Big a star like me, how are they going to refuse? Bob, a lot of celebrities were in town for mm -hmm. the Indianapolis 500, which of course took place yesterday, including a guy from the National Association of Broadcasters who has honored us by stopping by our show this morning. Of course, I'm talking about Mr. Ralph Bonarama. Hey, guys. I just want to let you know that uh, I really respect what you're doing. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think it's a shame that more kids can't go watch your show. I oh, no, it's on radio. Well, never mind, man. Let me wonder about the uh, Hoosier Dome, they call it. Now, when the Colts moved here, they were considering changing their names to the Trojans, and we were going to rename this place the Condome. This guy walks into a psychiatrist. Yeah. He says, I, I feel like I'm a dog. Really? Yeah. yeah. The psychiatrist says, how long have you felt this way? He says, ever since I was a puppy. <laughs> Go by. All right, it's, it's a helium money, so we should do this properly. Okay. You ready to sing along with it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. Here we go. It's Helium Monday. That's right. The high point of your week's arrive. It's Helium Monday with Bob and Tom. That's us, Bob and Tom. And uh, by golly, is it by, by God, you can listen to In My Not. <laughs> you can. K-I-Z-Z-F-M. Kiz. Kiz. <laughs> Lucky that doesn't start with a J. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> That'll be one hell of a radio Stop station. it! Stop it! We'll be coming right back. <laughs> it's new wax off. <laughs> Remove old wax and give your car a high gloss shine with wax off. Just jerk off the top and spray a smidgen on your vehicle and apply it with vigorous up and down motions. Uh -huh. uh, Dr. Ruth, he kept undressing me with his eyes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ruth, can I get pregnant when a man undresses me with his eyes? Mm -hmm. Only if he's cockeyed. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Put a little extra menthol there on your cigarette. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Haji, put that shaving foam down. Haji, would you like to give your street address? Maybe that'll help, help some people contact you after seeing this tape. Yeah, Dick. But the type of people that'll be contacting you are medical experimenters, okay? Dick. I wonder if they replace his heart with a gallstone, if his body will still work. This portion of our show is uh, brought to you by Walenda Brothers Coffee. Good to the last drop. <laughs> new law firm in the news today. Really? Yeah, three famous uh, attorneys have formed a new law firm. Oh, really? Who are yeah, they? Uh, Gary Hart, Ted Kennedy, and uh, Richard Nixon. What's it called? It's called Dick'em, Dunk'em, and Cheat'em. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't make fun of Gary Hart anymore. Why? The guy, I mean, he was he was six inches away of becoming president, you know what I mean? <laughs> Keep it in your pants, Jimmy. Get on your knees and pray, and when you get a... Woody! <laughs> what are we talking about Woody Hayes? <laughs> so why do they have one of the main thoroughfares for people and that say, why don't they build a little uh, a tunnel, tunnel or a bridge? Hey, what a great idea. Guy from, you, guy from USAC goes, <laughs> golly, Earl, that might be a pretty good idea. <laughs> Basically, it runs across the street, knocks her down, and just starts kicking her and hitting her oh and going crazy. Gosh. A drunk bass player. A drunk bass player. <laughs> mm. And he looks down and says, you're not so tough now, are you, Batman? <laughs> <laughs> That's it for our show, Based on... Comedian Nathan Trenholm in the studio with us. Now, Nathan, where, where are you living now? I'm, uh, I'm living in Los Angeles now. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I live with a guy and a girl. And uh, actually, the last time I was in town, I had some cookies. And I offered some of the cookies to my roommates. And the girl just got all mad at me. She's like, Nathan, I'm an actress. Actresses can't have carbohydrates. <laughs> I was like, you know, you mispronounce that word. Uh -huh. It's pronounced waitress. <laughs> You're a waitress. Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. I can hear you, oh no. You're talking out your ass again. Bob and...
Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hola. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. Ace Cosby's here. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Uh, the uh, house Hello. band, the Electric Amish, will be rejoining us shortly. Certainly looking forward to that. And I know Mr. Godwin also has a, a little bit uh, more music in him. We will also look forward to that. We're, we're going to hook squeeze up. Squeeze his head before. It's we're going to uh, hook up shortly okay. with uh, Tom Papa, the very fine comedian and baker. That's right. Baker. Yeah, he's a very good baker. He's, uh, he's famous for his bread. We have a bread him. story. Uh, oh. We'll go. What do you yeah. got? Yeah. Archaeologists in Turkey say they've discovered the world's oldest known bread dating back to 6,000 B.C. Whoa. Researchers said wheat, barley, pea seeds, and a palm-sized round spongy residue pea was seeds. found around an oven at a Neolithic <laughs> archaeological site in the province of Konya. Pea seeds, yeah. Apparently pea seeds. That's what they used to call sperm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right. Well, I guess feces and feces used to rhyme. Analysis right? yeah. determined that the organic residue was 8,600-year-old uncooked fermented bread. An archaeologist, Ali Umet Turkan, said it has a finger pressed in the center. It has not been baked, but it has been fermented and has survived to the present day with the starches inside. That's wow. amazing. How do they know that there's a finger pressed in the top? They can see it. Yeah. Well, it could be any. It could have been as dear. Uh, How old know, is it? It doesn't have to be a finger. <laughs> 8,600 years. Manna, that's old. Boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is a wonder. Oh. oh. Uh. I'd say something, but it would be right. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. If it hasn't been cooked, though, so technically it's dough, right? Yeah. Uh, well, we can get a... W Speaking we, of bread? We, we can get a professional to weigh in on this. Tom Papa has joined us. <laughs> Tom, we Good morning. Have, uh, good morning, sir. I know, among other things, besides being a great comedian, you're also an expert on uh, bread. And we have, I am. Yeah, Christy, read, read Tom the story. It's just, it's quick. Uh, yeah, it, archaeologists in Turkey have discovered the world's oldest known bread dating back to 6,000 B.C. It... Uh, as Tom mentions, technically a dough, Tom, because it hasn't been uh, baked yet, but it's fermented. Wheat, barley, pea seeds, and a palm-sized round spongy residue. It was found at an oven in Neolithic archaeological site in the province of Konya. Your thoughts? 8,600 oh, oh. years old. Mmm. Yeah. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I mean, you know, I bake bread all the time, and if you... If I were to leave it for half a day, it would be pretty awful. So I can only imagine whatever this Turkish concoction is, it's going to give somebody real stomach problems. Yeah. <laughs> Although this is a Twinkie. No. <laughs> those, <laughs> True. Those last yeah. quite a while. Now, from where you're sitting right now, do you have something in the works bread-wise? Yes. I have, uh, I have a loaf that came out um, two days ago. I, I do two loaves at a time in two Dutch ovens, and I've got the one of them I brought to my friend, and the other one I have on the cutting board. And then I have a uh, little bowl of sourdough starter that is uh, that I've it's been fed that is now ready to be put into flour, water, and salt, and uh, make the next loaves. I killed and that'll my probably uh, I'll mix that today and then make it tomorrow. I killed my sourdough starter. It's Why did you do that? I didn't do it on Why purpose. Why are you admitting that on air? I know, right? <laughs> That's she, such a sad thing. She's a newlywed, Tom. Uh, <laughs> There's no other way to say this. Distracted. You're a failure. I am a terrible baker. <laughs> failure. Murderer. Yes. <laughs> uh, Tom Papa is a distinguished stand-up comedian. And, um, Tom, just real quick, I want to say I used to really enjoy the segment on the uh, uh, lamented uh, loss, the um, Live From Here show, in which you would, uh, when you'd go to a town... You would really spend some time and wrote some great jokes about it, but also very informative. It was a great feature. I'm so oh, thank you very much. I miss that it's gone. Yeah, that it, it was Prairie Home Companion that turned into Live from Here, and I would do Out in America, and whatever city we were going to, I would spend some time and write up some. So it was it was great practice. I you know it's I miss it. 
but it was like it was a bear. Like I had to write five to six minutes of original stand up essentially every week. Yeah. So I was constantly writing and then rewriting and rewriting and rewriting and then uh spent all this time on it and I got really good at it. So thank you for the compliment. I, I do miss it. The big thing for me was uh standing, especially when we went back to Minneapolis and stood like in the Fitzgerald Theater where Garrison Keillor would do the news from Lake Wobegon. And now I had my little version of it. And uh, it was really, I, I just held him in such high regard. So it was good to uh, do a much lesser version of what he was doing, but in the same spot. Yeah. yeah. What, uh, so these days you don't have an assignment, so you have to create your own assignment when it comes to writing comedy. What are you thinking about these days? Yeah, now I'm uh, I'm just uh, trying to f figure out, you know, I'm, we've been going through this change in my house because my kids are gone for the first time. They're both in college now. Mm. The last one finally left, and nobody tells you really how hard it's going to be to, you know, pretend that you're sad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am... I think I'm happier than I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just so happy. happy. And I, I mean, I love them. Of course, I love them to death. They're home right now for spring break, but... You know, we had a good run. It's over, right? <laughs> 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 oh. How much you supposed to do? <laughs> you know, when you, back in your day... Did you have any memorable spring breaks? Did you go somewhere for your spring break? Were you a Florida bound no, kid? No, no. I went to school in New Jersey and Jersey kids, and we had no money. We never understood. We'd watch MTV and see kids down in Florida <laughs> with their shirts off and running around and going to concerts, and we're like, how? Did, we couldn't even come up with the the <laughs> gas money to get out of the state. <laughs> <laughs> We could not figure out how they all did that. We would just sit in our in our little rented house off campus and try and see if we like. I remember the big discussion was, "Can you smoke seeds?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it should do something, right? <laughs> now, I, 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 Tom, I, we were talking to Paul Reiser yesterday, and I asked him the same question. Was there a, uh, in your case, maybe even a cassette or a vinyl comedy album um, that was the one that sort of you listened to a hundred times? In my case, it was Robert Klein, Child of the 50s. Was there mm. one that that hit you real hard, like Pryor or Carlin, or what specific one, if there was one, was it? it, it in one week, I heard George Carlin's Class Clown at my friend Joe's house, and then... My friend Tom's house, they were playing Let's Get Small by Steve Martin. Of course. And it was all these older kids. And that was the literally the first time it dawned on me that grown-ups could be funny for a living. I had no idea that a thing I was like a comedian really never registered that, oh, these are grown-ups and they're making these albums. And this... I. I don't have to go into sales? <laughs> I thought everyone had to go into sales. And I played the I played them like crazy and then I I folded in uh S Steve Martin's Wild and Crazy Guy, which is you know it, it opened up and I would just sit with that album for hours and hours. Yeah. But George Carlin and Steve Martin, yeah, those are the ones. Well, we're speaking to Tom Pop, a comedian on the road by the way. Uh, Friday, March 22nd, Ponte Verde Concert Hall in Florida. And then on the 23rd, the Steinmetz all in beautiful Orlando, Florida, which was just voted one of the big up-and-coming cities in America. Orlando. Yeah, oh, Orlando. Yeah. That's, it's coming up. Uh, then you'll be in Poughkeepsie Thursday, April 11th. And then in Columbus, Ohio, Thursday, April 25th at the Joanne Davidson Theater. Friday, April 26th at the Rialto Square Theater in Joliet, Illinois, Tom Papa on the road. Uh, yeah, baby. Yeah, well, listen, Tom, it's always a great pleasure. Have a great show. Enjoy the, now, do your kids enjoy the bread that you <laughs> work so hard to make? They do. I did, you know, like I said, they're home from college right now. 
And uh, I did get a little sense yesterday that I've become the guy that's like the parent that's selling a little too much. Like my grandmother or my mother would always be like, did you eat? Did you eat? And be like, okay, okay. <laughs> and I found myself, my daughter was knocking around the kitchen. I was like, have you had the, have you had any toast? Do you want some bread? <laughs> and she just did this tiny little sigh just the, before she answered, just this little, <laughs> that made me realize <laughs> she's, Annoyed by the bread. <laughs> okay, okay one, one last question. You, 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 do you have a particular sandwich that you uh, have perfected over the years with your bread? I Yeah, I, there's a lot of different versions, um, you know, like avocado toast and just plain toast in the morning with butter is like my go-to, just the greatest way to start the day. But as far as a sandwich at lunch, and this, made, this will disgust some people, but I love it, is... You take a slice of that sourdough bread, cream cheese on it, capers, arugula, and sardines. Mm. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, man, is it good. Uh, if you don't like sardines, people don't not like sardines. They hate sardines. <laughs> if you love sardines, you love sardines. But if you don't like them, they really like, they hate it, and they say it right to your face. <laughs> And um, look, I've been married to her for a long time. But that's just how she acts. You, you can substitute smoked salmon, and that's yes. what I would do. It'd be, it would be very good. I, I do have one Ooh. more question. I'm sorry. I apologize. Real quick. Okay. Do you ever take a piece of your bread, sliced, mm -hmm. take a shot glass, cut out the middle, oh God, and then throw it in a frying pan and put an egg in it? Oh, God. Ooh. You ever done that? No. I'm so glad you said put an egg in it. Yeah. you know I love bread. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. It's it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> right, we're, we're, we'll, we'll let you go. Tom Papa on tour. Thank Thanks, you very guys. much, Tom. See you, Tom. You're the best. Uh, did, did, did you ever do that, Christy? No, I never did that. You mean the bookity bookity? Well, it's called, yeah, we called it a bookity bookity. I've heard it called a gas house. No, we've never did that. Or a, you ever do that, Josh? Egg in the basket? No. Yeah, no. that's another, the another name for it. Yeah. yeah. Is there a, a restaurant you, around here that does that? There is? I think there might be. I yeah. thought oh, there cool. was. Oh, cool. What do they call it? I don't... Uh, it's really cool because the, the yolk of the egg sits in the hole you made with the shot oh, glass. Oh, sure, yeah. And, uh, and then you can also fry up the hole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Isn't, isn't, that, that, a, isn't that, that, that a porno movie, movie, Fry Up the Hole? It is, yeah. <laughs> starring, on the beach. starring Dick Fry. Very sunny day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, who's in it? Dick, uh, Dick, Dick Fry? Fry? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, coming up, we're going to return with the Electric Amish. And Pat, you have a song, right? Sure. Okay, I'm very, do you want to give us a hint? Uh, it's my passion in the morning. It's what I wake up to do. Okay. Oh. Oh, I, this will be very exciting. Uh, speaking of passion, if you're really trying to find yours, uh, therapy is extraordinarily helpful. And BetterHelp has a really, really good idea. It's one of those simple ideas that has been perfectly executed. And the idea is, let's take advantage of the ability to go online pretty much anywhere right now. And then in terms of the world of therapy, they said, why not? And they now have more than 25,000 therapists that they're working with. And what I'm talking about is the therapy is actually done online. So here's how you start. You uh, go through a little questionnaire and you will get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch therapists, by the way, at any time, no additional charge. And the therapy itself is done online. So it's obviously extremely convenient. And uh, that way, you don't have to get into a car, drive to some office, sit there in the lobby looking at everybody else going, what's wrong with that guy? No, uh, you don't have to do that because you do it in the privacy of wherever you want to be, wherever you are. It's a really simple, smart idea. And therapy, of course, is also a smart move. And if you've been thinking about that and uh, thinking about what makes you happy, find out what makes you happy and get some assistance with better help. How do you do that? Well, you go to betterhelp.com slash BT show. You'll get 10% knocked off that first month if you use that slash BT show little tail end of that. Once again, it's betterhelp.com slash BT show, and it's betterhelp, H E L P, betterhelp.com slash BT show. The Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Coming up, some cool action and the dumbest name I've ever seen for a human being. This is The Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Carl Lewis, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Comedian. Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. That sounds good to me. No problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that'd be my fault. What the hell was that? Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. Well, that sounds good to me. No problem here.
How's it going? Morning. Hey, hold on there, kid. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We thought we'd barge in. God. There's a new one. <laughs> hey, kid, hold on there. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We do a morning radio show here in town. Here's the deal. We thought we'd break into your house. <laughs> Consarn it. <laughs> Shoot. Darn it. Honey, I'm home. Oh, great. Fish again. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we can vote you off this commercial. You know, Chick wanted Richard Hatch. <laughs> what if we paid you to say you liked us? <laughs> and now the news. Oh. You do sports. And now, and now the sports. <laughs> Sports terms that sound dirty, but they're not. No, oh, really. Ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Coming in first place. <laughs> Good. Palming the ball. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Taking it to the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just don't get your holes mixed up. Right. Ooh. Just don't get your holes mixed up. <laughs> Flip the cord over. Flip the cord over. I don't well, want it in my... <laughs> I don't know if that's what they're looking for here. Don't f <laughs> Christ. Oh, How right. many times have I heard, heard that? that. <laughs> Take two. A London homeowner who discovered three men trying to rob his house had no difficulty in describing one of the suspects. He had no legs. Ooh, Ooh usually in crime, it's the. <laughs> <laughs> Usually in crime, it's the police that are stumped, not the criminals. <laughs> I know you guys probably aren't interested, but guess what I did this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. Did you uh, impeach Bush? <laughs> no. Buzz the honey hole? <laughs> no. Flick the minnow? Did you flick the minnow? Flick the old minnow? Oh, oh, Flicking wow. the minnow? Or did you impeach Clinton? Bailing out the gravy boat? Is that what you were doing? <laughs> Finger the fountain? <laughs> Sounds like wow. a wonderful time, but no, I didn't do any of those things. Sorry. Oh, what um, a boring weekend. Yeah, Move on. Yes. Bounce the bearded clam? <laughs> Did you yeah, attend yeah. the clam twiddling jamboree? <laughs> That's it? I'm That's what I did? I that or not. Yeah, I double dribbled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tom did. I just uh, took his only line. Uh, <laughs> okay, here we go. It's okay. I like to think of Bob as the funny. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prop, yeah. It's part of the drinking act. <laughs> I like to think of Bob as the funny one, and I'm more the philosophical one. Ah, really? By the way, you left your headlights on. <laughs> Socrates. <laughs> What's new? Do the other came to the other That's line. That's it. That's it. That was the joke. <laughs> what was That's the it. Line? This one right here. I think of Bob as the funny one. I'm more of the philosophical one. Really? Will you shut up and drink your hemlock, please? <laughs> <laughs> I told you to be too hip for you. Hemlock, you know. Hemlock. Socrates. What is it? Poison. Lines start with H. You want hemlock? Headlights? What's next? <laughs> Hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid? <laughs>
that was happily raised right. by the owner's barber, Jeff, <laughs> spelled G-E-O-F. Of course, yeah. I just want a cheeseburger. I want a burger made from a cow <laughs> that was born and raised to be a burger. <laughs> All right? I don't want a burger with dreams or hope. I want a burger that knew the deal. And I want a cheese that is 40% plastic. <laughs> All right? I want a cheese that when I poop it out, I poop out a keychain. <laughs> Bob and Tom. <laughs> that was. Oh, oh ladies and gentlemen, yes. we're back on the Bob and Tom Woo. show, and that band you're hearing, it is the Electric Hum. Live. Live in our house band, baby. Chick, was Spencer Davis two men, and that's their last name, or is it one man? And that's his first it's, and last I name. I don't. I don't know. I don't think it was anybody in the band, was it? Steve Winwood was the guy that wrote and sang this song yeah, when he was, he was what, like 16? 16, so right. He sang. But right. there was no Spencer and or Davis. I thought there I'm was. Looking it up. I think there was a Spencer. Uh, was there a... Uh, Muff. Muff was in the band. <laughs> Muff. Jesus. Muff Winwood. Yeah, Steve's hmm. brother, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Muff, not Mutt, like Mutt Lang. Muff. No, Muff. Yeah. Muff. Muff. Okay, Muff. Muff. Like Jiner. Like you ain't seen nothing till you're down on yeah, that Muff. Muff. Right. Yeah, Muff. Yeah, Muff Jiner. <laughs> really. Yeah, 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 Steve yeah. Winwood, Muff Winwood, Peter York, and Spencer Davis. There you go. Oh, okay. There he is. But that wasn't Spencer Davis. That was the electric Amish yeah. on tour, ladies Duh. and gentlemen. Um, the Amish, um, uh, it's an extensive tour uh, starting in Logansport uh, at the State Theater Saturday, March 23rd. And then... Then, uh, yeah, August uh, 10th, we're going to be <laughs> all the way over there in uh, in Metamora, Ooh. Indiana. You ever been to Metamora? I have not. It's the land of 10,000 lakes. Oh, I, who knew? <laughs> is that right? That I'm not though. sure that it is right, but uh, <laughs> come that, find out. I thought you were going to say 10,000 buggies. <laughs> uh, they do get skeeters pretty bad that time of year. <laughs> buggies. Oh, no, well, we have time for a couple songs, uh, fellas. What do you feel like playing? Well, what we feel like playing is um, <clears throat> a little bit of uh, rock and roll for you. This is Amish rock and roll, so okay. it might not be the kind you're used to. Oh. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> this here is a song about uh, having the blues. You like the blues? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah the blues ain't nothing but the truth. That's Never right. Heard that, but, um, <laughs> here's, here's a little song. Oh, yeah. shiny buttons get on your D's and pray. <laughs> Doing all those things I ain't supposed to do cause there ain't no cure for, for the men in night blues. <laughs> Yes, sir. 
The Electric Amish and the Mennonite Blues here on the Bob and Tom program. There we go. Um, fellas, we have time for one more if you guys want to uh, do a little something over there. Yeah, well, two we for got... Tuesday. Uh, it is two for Tuesday. Oh, really? Uh, that's, that's a good idea. Oh. That's got a, oh. a nice ring to it. All <laughs> these days look the same to us, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna tune down to D. If you're playing at home, you're gonna want to tune down to D for this one. Okay. okay. Uh, this is um, <clears throat> Christy. Yes, sir. We'll dedicate this to you. Oh. On account of um, <clears throat> we 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 know that um, you're you're not exactly a uh, straight ahead Amish girl. No. No, you're uh, what we refer to as a black bonnet girl. Oh. oh. You know what I'm saying? Girl. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Oh, you going to paint that barn tonight? Oh, down beside the lantern light. Oh, you going to finish all your chores like bonnet girls? You make the Amish world go round. I was just an Amish boy, full of purity and joy. Dang well that I was holier than me. <laughs> Left alone with cousin Greta, what a naughty babysitter. Heathen <laughs> woman, you made a midnight out of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know girls who never curse, chicks who know their Bible verse. Every one of them wore a dress down to the floor. Though their chastity and charm made them quite pleasant on the farm, there ain't nothing like a good old Amish poor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gonna know paint that barn tonight? Oh, down beside the lantern light. Show your choice, black bonnet girls. You make the Amish world go round, y'all. Yeah. Black bonnet girls, you make the Amish world go round. Hey, Graber. Yeah, Carl. Do you know the difference between Greta and my buggy? What's that? Well, not everybody's been in my buggy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on my knees all day. All I do is sit and pray. Thought I saw the Lord. I can't really tell. But I knew from the beginning With this lust and all this sinning The crown of girls and me Will surely burn in hell Now take this Oh, you gonna paint that barn tonight Get on your buggies and ride! <laughs> Black bunny girls! Man, that Greta is built like a brick outhouse! As long as I've got a pew, she's got a place to sit. Black bunny girls! Yeah, she could churn my butter anytime. Black bunny girls! Show us your ankles. <laughs> oh. Hot, hot. Woo. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Electric Amish. Thank you, fellas. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks you very for much. letting us come on here so we're bound to burn in hell, Tom. Okay. <laughs> All right, back up your back up your buggy. There you go. Uh, I couldn't find my black bonnet. I looked for it, but oh. I couldn't find it. Christy, we'll come over and help you find your black bonnet, baby. Okay. Oh, no. Maybe you, it's with your neighbor. scarlet letter. Oh. Maybe. Oh, well. Uh, They've been retired. Uh, let's uh, get back to the news desk, Christy. Now, wait, unless, unless, Pat, did you want to squeeze your song in? Oh, well, sure. Uh, you said you had a, a something new for us. What is it? Yeah, everybody needs a reason to get up in the morning. Boy, oh, boy, Am do I right? Yeah. Yes. Well, this is mine. I wake up early, slow as a turtle, check my phone and do my wordle. <laughs> I got it in five. Yeah. 
owe me a coffee. Hope the cream hasn't curdled. Got nothing to do. Already did my wordle. <laughs> Maybe I'll go for a drive. Right around seven, I go to Bob Evans with my breakfast crew. I tell the boys my favorite story. That time I got wordle in two. <laughs> oh, wordle. Yeah. My mind fertile. I play with my wife Myrtle. My morning mental hurdle. Yeah. I go to bed at nine, Myrtle takes off her girdle. I look forward to tomorrow's wordle. Should I post today's score? <laughs> Yesterday it was four. I'll text my daughter and son. If I get it in one. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> A nice tribute to, uh, <laughs> to you, what goes on in, and all of us. You, what, what goes Jeff, on in this building Jack. every day? I am not. Uh, I was not in on Wordle when you guys early on, but I have got. I am shocked at how much I look forward every morning <laughs> doing Josh? Wordle. Wow! No, I've never done it. I mean, you'd be good fun. at it, Josh. You're yeah, a word guy. You'd be very mm. good at it. I'm good. Do you uh, ever get it in one? Is that I possible? have not. Uh, it's I have happened. got it one time in one. I don't oh, have really? a picture, actually, if you'd like to uh, see no, it. No, I don't. <laughs> if, you, if you don't play the game, that you, 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 it's five letters, and you start with a word, you try to figure out. It, it's a, really, a very elegant system, and it's fun. Is that an app? Is it? Where yeah. do you find you, uh, it? The New York Times. The, the New York Times. New York Times. Uh, it's very it, cool. It, it's everywhere. Oh, I know it's everywhere. People talk about it all the time. Not going to do anything but... to support that rag. <laughs> <laughs> Wordle, Wordle was final one morning, and that was my first word, I ah, guess. Ah, so, good for wow. you. There you go. That's Do they give you a like letter that. at all? No, no, no. No, no. no, uh -uh, no. It's all about no. the starting word, too. you got to oh, pick yeah. a good one. you got to pick a good starting word. I'll, I'll show you off here. It's easy. It's, it's fun. They give you a hint? No, no, no. They just put up five blocks, and you've got to figure Stop out. Stop asking uh, questions about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. It, it's uh, it's fun. Um, now, um, <laughs> sure, you could read Russian literature, and if or you, get, you can do the world. If you get if you get it in six, it'll go. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. like you barely last, made it. That's yeah. The last oh, guess. it's six. Yeah, you, you, you get it two. It'll go it's like a brilliant or whatever. Oh. And then three or four is uh, impressive. I didn't know there were affirmations. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Makes you feel good about yourself. It's, it's oh, a, they don't go if you get it in six, dummy. <laughs> no, no, no. It, no, it's, it, that's few. Uh, few. You yeah, will yeah, occasionally that. not get it. And then I, the, I went on the air one day because they had a word that was not a word. It is short. About it's, two days out of five, he'll complain about uh, what Wordle was <laughs> no, no, chosen connections, I, and what I connections was chosen. This is another word game. Right. And what uh, clue they used for the crossword and mm. how Mike is uh, not spelled. No, I wrote them a letter about Mike. There it is. This is when a... Uh, they, the clue was about microphones, and the microphones. answer was was M-I-K-E. That's not correct. That's, That's not, not right. Correct. It's correct M-I-C. Yeah, the New York Times should know better. See, they get lots of stuff wrong, Josh. Yeah. Ooh. Read the editorial page. <laughs> <laughs> Are, is the editorial page, like, predominantly complaints about the word game? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. Oh. In, in any event, yeah, I'll teach you. If you don't them. get it right, do they go, better luck next time? Yeah, but you, the, your streak will end. Well, with connections, they do that. That's oh, nicer than they? the Cracker Barrel game. According oh, to that, yeah. I'm an ignoramus. Yeah. Yep. Every single time <laughs> I get an oh, ignoramus. Man. I say I've never played that. I've never been to Cracker. I don't know that you'd touch it. It's, it's on I the guess, table. It's on the table for little golf tees that put in I little... I can't believe you've never been to Cracker Barrel. Have what you ever met me? <laughs> My favorite restaurant. It's wonderful. I went I, there I'm sure I'd day. love it. I just have never mm -hmm. had occasion chicken to. Chicken and dumplings. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're grilled chicken tenders. Cheesy potatoes. Hash brown potatoes. Man, oh, man. man. Give me it all. And uh, by the way, please, Hunk please you know, if, you, if you heard me talking to a Tom Pop and ask him about the... Uh, uh, the creation where you take a piece of bread and take a shot glass, Son take put the hole in the middle, bitch. and you fry it up with the yolk in the middle. What what do you call that? Look, here's there the there thing. are several different names. They have that at Cracker Barrel, apparently. They do. I get, then I'm going. I get uh, emails all the time. Why do you Why do you give Tom such a hard time? <laughs> Come on, you guys. Do you guys hate each other? Well, first, no, we don't hate each other. It's close though. But, <laughs> no, but he has talked about this particular topic. A hundred times? In 30, in 41 the, years. The, 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 the egg in the it basket. Interests How me, do you it interests it over? me. How does the yolk cook? Because but the yolk cooks on the it's on the bottom, and okay. then it, so when you flip it over, it doesn't break. It's delicious. 
It's sure, a, it makes it's really sense. it's really fun. To toast and eggs but is I, very I, good. I, 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 it's people fun. have different names. People have different names for it. Moon toast. I made a snow one. door dash, which is your favorite recipe. Oh boy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. right. That's the best cook I'll ever have. Yeah, I'm good. holding my phone yeah. up. <laughs> it, it's good cooks there. That's right. Uh, uh, right now, um, we're going to learn about uh, a posture. And about uh, saving your back and your knees, because it starts with your feet, and it starts actually with a beautiful portrait of Josh wearing uh, an orange top hat and an orange suit. Look That's exactly that. right. That's I am amazing. the soul man. That's what they call me there at the Orange Insoles Institute and Foot Care Clinic. Thank you very much. S O L E, soul man. That's exactly right. So I don't think we can be litigated. Uh, here's the thing orangeinsoles.com is the place to check out. If you have back pain, hip pain, knee pain, foot discomfort, you know how much that affects your daily routine. It's frustrating. <laughs> Pat and I were actually in the green room talking about our aches and pains yeah. and how maybe we need stronger foundations. Well, I found mine with orange insoles. Perhaps you will too. If you work on your feet all day, you're putting stress on your body. And what kind of support is currently in your shoes? Huh? Answer me. Is it one of those lame, uh. thin liners that no better than a napkin in there? Well, that's offering zero support, isn't it? Kind of like what I get around here. Zero support. <laughs> oh, wine, wine, wine. <laughs> Go to originsouls.com. They offer arch support and a deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and thusly your whole body, helping to alleviate that pain and discomfort. It's like a table. If it wobbles, there is no proper support, much like your body. It all starts from the ground up. These are great no matter if you're wearing work boots, sneakers, dress shoes, high heels, golf shoes, uh, flip-flops. Eh, I don't know. They might fall out. Might, yeah, flip-flops <laughs> flip might require crazy glue. <laughs> I'll stick with the screen. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Shut up, man. <laughs> Find the right fit for you by taking that insole quiz they have at orangeinsoles.com. That'll get you uh, exactly what you need. Head to orangeinsoles.com today for free shipping. Plus, Orange Insoles comes with a 60-day we-want-you-to-be-happy guarantee. No cutting required, Tom. That's big. Yeah, so you don't get that uh, that uh, piece of baloney you have to cut in the shape of your foot to put. No, you need some support down there. Yes, these insoles are true to size, so no messing around with scissors and a mess. That's orangeinsoles.com. Feel better, do more. Thank you very much, Orange Insoles. Coming up today in history, some interesting stuff, too. This is The oh, Bob cool. and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to The Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our... Hey, Christy. Hey, Chick. Have you seen the banana video? <laughs> Who hasn't? I wanna do something to you, baby. Pretty proud of you. Oh, Impressive. Thanks. Yeah. I was just wondering what, uh, what you could uh, do with my banana. Your banana? Yeah. Hmm. Well... Now, the Bob and Tom Show presents Christy Lee eating a banana. It's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day, parties, or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. Ah! 
That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Hey, hi, I'm Tom, this is Chick, that's Josh, and this is Christy Lee. Christy, what's happening? Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show is coming. That's right, Rock 105 WKLC bringing us to town with a live broadcast with... Special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns Plus... Don't forget. You see the word "don't forget"? <laughs> no, but it's all. But it's like it's like it half says, a sentence. Don't miss an yeah, amazing it's just like comedy don't show. Miss amazing Start is a wrong word. Hey, Charleston, it's the Bob and Tom Show. That's right, and our friends from Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live broadcast. Speech. <laughs> Speech. Speechery. <laughs> One more time. Here we go. This for sure. Here we go. All right. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show coming to, yes, your area from Rock 105 WKLC. They're bringing us to town for a live show. Special guest, Duke Tomato. <laughs> you nerds. <laughs> Start over. Hey, Charleston, the Bob and Tom Show here and our friends at Rock 105 WKLC are bringing us to town for a live show with special guest Duke Tomato and the Bob and Tom Brass to Mouth Horns. Plus, do not miss an amazing comedy show that night. That's right. It all happens Friday, April 5th at the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center. If you're listening anywhere within 100 miles of Charleston, if you come out and see us live on the morning of April 5th. That's a free show. And then get tickets for that night's Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour event with who, Christy? Pat Godwin, Josh Arnold, Jeff Oske, Willie Griswold, and all hosted by yourself, <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all hosted by Tom and Christy. Aww. Tickets on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time at Ticketmaster.com or the Charleston Coliseum box office. See you there! free of stomach contents, tooth fillings, and toilet water. You'll emerge from the bathroom or back alley stylish, empty, and ready for more. Yeah. Just clip it, unload, and forget it. <laughs> Best of all, if you order in the next five minutes, I'll include a tub of Bio Be Gone breath mints for absolutely free plus shipping and handling of $29.95. What comes up or down is nobody's business but yours uh -huh. with these powerful breath scrubbing mitts. So what are you waiting for? Order my Billy Amazing Barf Away Barrettes and Bio Be Gone breath Mets and let's get this party started. I'm yeah. Billy Mazing. <laughs> Hi, this is comedian Sean Mori, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Steve, uh, Steve Iatt is here with us. You look like you look like a clean liver, but you said that you used to be a smoker, which I find surprising. Yeah, I used to Me smoke too. cigarettes. I, I enjoy you, the occasional uh, cocktail. Do you know? I, uh, What's I your got, drink of choice? You look like a sh kind of a shandy thing. Or a martini. shandy. <laughs> <laughs> martini. That's no compliment, is it? Bitters, <laughs> bitters at five. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm a beer guy. Beer Are guy. You know? Yeah. I used to drink way too much. I'd get all these stories where people uh, tell me what I did before. Like, oh. uh, like and it's, it's always embarrassing. One time I was really, really drunk. I put a $5 bill in my mouth, and I had a uh, dancer uh, take it out of my mouth um, with her uh, butt. Mm -hmm. It's very embarrassing. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it also ruined my niece's recital. Yikes. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Come on. Hey, I say uh, move your recital. Okay. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. 
Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24 7. Insane. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Top Show. I got right. hit with you okay, you okay over there? the hiccups right as I was speaking. Uh, I'm Chick. Here's Tom, and you know what time it is, Tom. What's that? It's time for our daily history lesson. Okay. You asked for it. People email us. They enjoy this segment. Uh, I'm trying to do a little. Okay, I got something for you. They look um, forward to it all morning. Let's see. if I think maybe I'll run this one by Josh. All right. Uh, this is audio trivia. If I can get this thing to work here, um, this should be it here. Uno, dos, oh. one, two, tres, cuatro. Josh, you know what that is? Yeah, that's Wooly Bully by hey. Wooly Bully. Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. Yeah. Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. <laughs> What did I do when he was gone? I said that exact same way. Yep. I this song is great. Oh, it's we just had a great. story about a woolly mammoth. Yeah, yeah. we did that. Right. This is a great song. It what is. A, and what a weird song. You could not believe anything Sam the Sham told you I, ever. I don't know any of the words. I think it's Maddie told Hattie about a thing she saw. Oh, that's very. I had no idea. That's. I think that might be as far as I, I get. I, I, I don't even know what any any of it means. Yeah, that's really. Bad. But great used, stuff. Used well in Full Metal Jacket too. With uh, sat around. Yeah. But uh, Happy Birthday. That song came out in 1965. Hmm. Whose birthday is it? It. That's when that song was released. Oh, so Wooly, good. Wooly Bully by Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs, and it became a big big hit. Well, let's get to some birthday. Birthdays. Were they able to follow that up? Do you know? No. Ah, as far as I know. It feels like a summer song, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah, at the pool and stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. Um, happy birthday, the late Jack Kerouac. Oh. Oh. Um, he liked to not use punctuation. He was of, of the beat generation. <laughs> yeah. Josh. He I know a, it, yeah. He had a paddy whack, didn't he? <laughs> uh, he did. A Nick, a Nick, but he yeah. called it a nickname. Jack Kerouac had a paddy whack. He, he gave, gave his a, dog a bone. He gave the frog alone. Yeah. Yeah. Like Alan, Inns, Alan Ginsberg wanted to give him the bone. <laughs> no. I'm not sure that ever happened. No, I never no, read no. any of that. I, I I saw the manuscript. I guess if I am if I consider myself well read, I should probably read on the road, but I just don't feel like I have to. Well, see, no, it was kind of about a day when the interstates came in. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is meandering, yeah, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I saw yeah. it. You saw the scroll, Christine? Yes, I wow. did. It was. It's very, very cool. That's very the, cool. the famously written on one long, mm -hmm. uh, very unusual manuscript. Uh, let's That's see. It's like um, a roll of toilet paper. Do you know who May Young is? May Young. Hmm. Uh, she is famous, May West, famous wrestler. Egg oh. Foo's, born in 1923. Uh, May Egg, Young, she Egg was a, Foo's sister. She was a wrestler. <laughs> oh, is that who she was? I thought she was. No, maybe. She was a I've very never, old wrestler. Yeah, Did she like was wrestling when she was 90. I've never heard of her. Was she part of Glow? Yeah, but she wasn't. No, she was in WWF. I don't really? think she was. Uh, the fabulous Moolah was the most uh, famous <laughs> uh, female wrestler ever. Really? I, yeah, I think so. Remember? Here we go. Um, she was shaped like a beer keg. Remember Fabio's <laughs> Moolah? 1946, Liza Minnelli. Liza with a Z? Yeah. You ever notice that the the male, uh, what do you call it, sort of impersonators of her look more like Liza than she does? Oh, but, you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Today's her birthday? Yeah. What year? 46. 46. She popped out oh. of Judy Garland, didn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I have never found her in the slightest attractive. Liza, yeah. I'm. I totally agree. I think not, she's fine, like as in a performer. Not like in, even in, a, during in, the Arthur days. No, I thought. I thought. No, this is such a con this is such a construct. There is no way. Cabaret, not cabaret. No, no I just thought it was very weird. Nothing sexy about her at all. Are Cab we wrong? Cabaret won Best Picture. Is that right? I think right. it did. I think yeah. it did. How oh, yeah. the hell did that happen? Oh, really? Bob Fosse. Oh, show. He was a real, real, real dumb. Uh, hey, Tom, I just saw Bob Fosse in a movie that I think you would have approved of me watching called The Affairs of Dobie Gillis. Oh, wow. It was the movie with, uh, uh, oh, hell. And Bob Tuesday Fosse Weld. was that? No, she's, uh, yeah, he plays like the friend of Dobie Gillis. Really? Um, yeah, and it's a different Dobie Gillis than on the TV show. Oh, no, it is? Not, not yeah. Dwayne Hickman, oh. but it is. Yeah, Debbie Dobie Reynolds Dwayne. is the star. Ah. Huh. She's not Dobie Gillis, of course. Now, <laughs> you'll know this one, I think, I think Chick will know this one. Okay. Happy birthday, 1946, Frank Welker. Uh, mm. voice guy. Yes. Uh, he wasn't a ventriloquist. Ruh-roh. There you go. Was he a ventriloquist? Scooby-Doo. Oh, okay. 
I did not know Scooby Doo. By the way, so rap, rap your birthday. Ray. What? Uh, oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. <laughs> By the way, am I correct saying that both... Hope I get rocked. Did, <laughs> did, did both Astro and Scooby have the same... They kind of did. Kind of, a little bit. You know, Astro wasn't uh, his name originally. It was uh, Tralfaz. There's a famous car uh, episode of the Jetsons where they find... Really? Astro and they rename him Astro from Tralfaz. Oh, he was a rescue doggy? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the way, I think Marmaduke kind of got the short end of all this dog stuff. Why? Because Marmaduke was the, the original the, big dog. Was big the, red dog. The, the, no, no, no. Marmaduke was the Great Dane. I know, but Big the, Red the Dog kind of stole stole his Clifford because he was Clifford. way bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, happy birthday, to the great James Taylor, touring again this summer with a terrific band. Uh, and uh, here's an interesting one: in 1894, Coca Cola was sold in bottles for the first time. When? Before that, 18. They, 1894. Wow. Sorry. Yeah, before that, they just poured it in your hand. Oh, no, you could, you could put it in a sack. That's weird. <laughs> in a sack. The yeah. Electric Amish. Oh, the Electric Amish stopped by today. And things we've learned on the Bob and Tom show. Uh, Gardner Minshew's taking his talents to Las Vegas. Baby. Well, goodbye, Gardner. We love you. Yeah, we'll miss you, Gardner. Uh, the NFL New Year starts tomorrow, the, making this New Year's Eve. We talked about Pig Gasso, the pig who does art, and it's not too bad, believe it or not. Can I tell you my favorite quote from the movie The Affairs of Dobie Gillis? Sure. Certainly. Sure. Dobie Gillis looks at Debbie Reynolds, and he's uh, they're in a boat together. He's playing a ukulele, mm -hmm. and he looks at her, and he goes, you're the prettiest girl in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. hilarious. Use that line next time. I, yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah. a good line. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.